Well, hello, Iron Halo family and friends. We got Jason here, Jason Lippert with the Adepticon staff. Bam Bam here with the Flying Monkeys Wargaming Podcast. Say hello. Oh, one more time, Bam. I told you I wasn't coming across. Sorry. You know I love you. Uh, All right. Oh, God, that hurt. All right, it's already starting. All right, um, Jason. Can you uh, go ahead and say something real quick? Uh, not coming through. Jason Lippert, if you're there, say something nice. Uh-oh. I think we lost him in the warp. Still, still staticky. Oh no. Anyway, we are going to feature an awesome matchup. Make sure our audio levels are good. Feature an cool. So anyway, we're featuring an awesome matchup with uh, Table 4. We got uh, Justin Biru. Cool. Awesome. Jason, you can hear me. That's good. So let me show this real quick. All right. So table 4. What's up, Jason? Yeah, unfortunately, that's him. We're still kind of staticky. I'm not sure why. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just not coming through, man. All right. So this is our first matchup. Jason Biru's list. It's a Death Guard list. Bam, you're pretty familiar with Death Guard, aren't you? To a certain extent. I took uh, running them for a little while. I do know uh, in the past, Jason has been the play for his crawlers. Uh, he used to be Lord of the Flies. Run a lot of the, the Nervous Flies. I think since they went up in points, he switched over to the play for his crawlers. They are super durable. It'll be interesting to see uh, with the super the this matchup against the Tau. Your volume. Sorry guys, we're just checking with some audio levels real quick. It's always the first game of the day. Always got to uh, make sure things are good. So, here's his next list we got. Is my mic any better now? Check one. There we go. Coming across. There we go. That's good. Cool. Okay. Jason, oh. I think Jason Lippert just left. He's probably going to be back here in a few seconds or a few minutes or so. But this is his... Uh, Jason Beer's second page. He's got three Plague Brew Burst Crawlers. Let's see. Some Prox Bringers, Nurglings. Kind of a typical Death Guard list. Those in chat that play Death Guard, what are your thoughts on them? You know, I think he's super resilient. We're featuring a matchup with Tau. So we have super resilient troops and, uh, and a super resilient faction versus a faction that likes to deal lots of damage. Alright, and this is Mike's list. So I think if Matt Neely was in the chat, he would definitely comment on how Tau are an amazing faction right now. Is that correct? They're good. I think they're gatekeepers. I'm not sure... You're going to see him winning a lot of majors. You might see him winning RGGs towards the top tables. Uh, the problem is they completely miss out on a few phases of the game uh, between, you know, not having any kind of a psychic phase, not having any kind of a close combat or assault phase. They just uh, they don't interact in two phases of the game. And uh, this list has, the I think, the broadsides. I'm, I'm not sold on the broadsides. I think for the points you spend on the broadsides, you'd be better off to have a third rib side. Yeah, it does has four, looks like four broadsides. Of course, with the and high the yield of the crew, Are there actual crews in that list? Uh, I am not. Oh, oh my god. god. Look at this. Actual crew going there is the actual crew. Steven Hetmeyer, if you're listening. 20 Crute. Cannot believe that. Go Crute. Okay. We're going to get these players set up here in a few minutes, so just give us a second. I think uh, Jason Lippert is back on. So, Jason, uh, go ahead and do some audio tests for us, please, bud. If you can hear us. Oh. Uh. I don't think you're coming through. Do one more test for us. Oh, let me uh, try to change something real quick. Brian, if you have a second, do you mind micing the players and giving out the uh, pr player profile? Okay, Jason, go and do an audio test again. No. Hmm. 
Well, of course, we are going to have lots of issues <coughs> coming back from a break. All right. Guys, I appreciate you being very patient with us. Test, test. Okay. All right. Okay, it looks like he's restarting. You know, the interesting thing is Discord is working. Hmm. All right, we're marking the players right now. <laughs> oh, Jason, can you hear us? Had some static. Oh, still staticky, man. Hey, Bill Host 10. Yeah, I think they will be solid. You're right, but I, this is probably going to be a most likely a first turn game. All right, Mike and the players. All right, guys, if we can get to track your command points on here. So Brian right there. As well. uh, that's how we've been doing it, so. Free for expansion. All right, mics are on. Should be. So I'm going to have a dark matter crystal. Yeah, there's Jack here, Jason. Cool. Uh -huh. God damn it. I upgrade my banners. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to spend one free game for an extra relic. Um, I'm going to put um, extra maneuver clusters on the full star. Good it job. basically allows it to move after I've shot. Um, uh, it lets me move six inches. And then All I'm right, we'll have to adjust the, the uh, uh, camera again. On my Warlord. Give us a second. Is the uh, Cadre Fireblade with the thingies on his back. What's that do? Um, it uh, lets me steal command points. And it gives me one free roll with for him or anybody within six inches on a uh, two wounds to save or to hit. Once per game? No, just once per turn. Wow, that's really good. Game turn or player turn? Uh, game turn. Um, or sorry, play turn. Play turn. Player turn. Better. And it gets burned. <laughs> yeah, that's, that seems extremely good. Signatures are weird. Right. And who's that on? Uh, that is on my uh, warlord. Uh, who the is? Suit? He is a uh, a cadre fireblade. Oh, okay. Can you guys hear me now? My powers are my my uh, virtual blessing, blades of purification. Hey, and Jason. Yes, we can. Give me a second. We're gonna adjust some audio back. real quick. Once for about. Once for about. Okay, cool. I went and borrowed my son's headset. Yeah, it is. It is once for about. That's good. That'd be game breaking. All right. Okay. So I have placed that one. So. You placed this one. Um, Alright, go ahead and talk real quick. Alright, how's this now? That is awesome. Alright, okay. everybody in chat. You guys hear Jason? It looks like you can. Bill host 12. Bill lows 12. Alright. I think we got the camera pretty much situated. Good deal. Okay. Alright, Jason, well, this is a round four matchup. We're going, uh, Tau and Death Guard. So, in your experience, what have you seen work for these two matchups? What are these again? Huh? What are these again? Snorkeling. I think I thought my deployment was going up nine inches to the end. I missed the list part because I was working on other things. I heard that uh, the Tau player has, what, 20 crew? Um, Actual crew. Don't I deploy to to first and see if roll Okay, oh. that's interesting. So, uh, and I'm not sure the mission's gonna help the the Tau player uh, much. I'm gonna deploy my um, uh, my crew character and, uh, into uh, uh, pursuit. What kind of terrain do you guys have? The kind yeah. you put on a table. 
Um, that was a joke, Aiden. I'm sure I have more drops than you. I have not heard him discuss terrain yet. Uh, if you look, there's some. There is one enclosed building out there. There's two that are multiple floors. Uh, Jason's already jumped out there and put the nerdlings on them. On the one to the uh, right of your screen, if you're looking. So there's uh, ruins, craters, <clears throat> and then a line of sight blocking trays. We lose Jason. No, not at all. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just thinking. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll come down to who gets the first turn, I suppose. But that's not gonna do too much for the Tau. I'm not sure the Tau can win this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if they have the firepower to uh, put down what's on the other side of the board. I mean, it's nice to see that a, a Tau player is is near the top Armor of the tournament in, in the final rounds, so but line of um, sight, line of sight. I, don't, I, like, um, I don't think it's going to go particularly well. Line of sight, line of sight. Agreed. Um, so even if the Tau player goes first, you don't think uh, he has a chance? No. I mean, unless the dice go really well for him. Um, and then... Uh, Depending on deployment, he might not even have range for a lot. Well, deploy a unit of troops. Yeah, I was going to mention too that the um, the search and destroy deployment is an interesting one because it it affords people the best opportunity to stay really really far away from each other if they want to in order to really crowd the center of the board and then you don't have anywhere to go. All right, they're getting set up. I think they're already in the deployment phase. Looks like Dawn of War deployment. Uh, I'm seeing Search and Destroy. You're seeing what? Search and Destroy, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, yep. You're right. Let's see. Got pumped in the table. This is the uh, Herald in the Nurgle Detachment. <clears throat> okay. Uh, that guy is gonna have my. Whatever that means. <laughs> the good news is my Eleutherus. But we're we're doing uh the twelve inches up to Dawn of War. Uh. I'm gonna do my next one. Good squad. All right, we did verify it is Dawn of War deployment. So you see the deployment zones right there on the screen. Pretty cool. We call this a room. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, that's, that increases the Tau player's chances a little bit. That's good. That's real good. on the inside here. <laughs> of course. Right, while you're doing that, I'm going to come in. Alright. Well, that was going to make sense. That's my last guy. I got to clean these guys up. Put that guy down. Actually, you know what? Because you're taking it on. I'm going to take time to put my thing. To maximize efficiency. Trays are full. So Jason, are you awake this morning? Pretty much, yes. Um, I got a lot of coffee in me. That's awesome. I'm on my third third cup right now. All right, done. Uh. I deploy my uh, 12 star commander right here.
It's already a tense game. No one's talking. So both these players, uh, let's figure out where they're from. I do not believe they fill out the player profile. Jason's with 40KC. Dedicated Nurgle player in all his forms. Good player. He's kicked my butt at the tournament. Sure. Um... Five man squad of fire warriors. Ignore me, please. <laughs> Five man squad of fire warriors. Mm -hmm. You fill that out. I fill that out. Yeah. Hey, Jason, shoot me a link to your uh, Twitch stream and get a chance. Sure. sure. Oh. I just unplugged something. Oh no. Alright, that's, that's fine. fine. <laughs> uh, bye bye, sir. Uh, what, what was that? Bye bye, sir. Right on. Okay. Um, uh, Fireside Marksman. Alright, sure. Cool. Working for the Fireside? Say it. <clears throat> Little nerdlings, ignore them. Uh, unit of broadsides. All right. And their accompanying drones. Do I have to say movement? See movement trays? Yeah, I totally agree. They do help quite a bit for those uh, Death Guard armies. Oh, where'd you put broadsides up there? There. The drones, okay. Uh, I'm going to put the drones. All right, so those of you listening, thoughts for pregame? Can I put these guys in the second floor and the drones in the first floor? Are they infantry? Uh, these are uh, these are infantry. Or, or, sorry. These are... Actually, I'm not only infantry can go through the floor. They're battle suits. Yeah, so they can't go through the floor. They're so not put them down there. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to go through it. They're they're like ogres. Yeah, so you can't go through it. Just like just like my uh, beast and urgle and stuff. They can't go from one floor to the other. You can climb the walls, but once you're inside, you can't get out. And then so that's why I didn't put these nerglings right. inside the string. Got it. Because I couldn't get out. They can't walk through walls. Because it'd been a lot safer for me to put them inside the bottom there, but I can't do that because it'd be crappy. That's in the new big, that's in the big chapter of okay. Okay. So if you put them on the bottom level, you won't be able to get out. They'd be trapped. Okay. In case then... You don't want to do that because you won't be able to shoot. Well, they can see out because it's a ruin. You can see out, the, you're not on the bottom level. No, no, no. no yeah. I wanted to put them in the, in the middle level. Yeah, you just wouldn't These guys it. in the bottom. Yeah, you wouldn't build it, you wouldn't build it. Uh, they don't have guns. Yeah. You wouldn't build, you wouldn't build it, uh. I'm never moving them. Right. You would never be able to get them, in, you wouldn't be able to get them out. I never move them. You could put them in there. You just wouldn't be able to get them out. They'd be trapped. Okay. What is right. stuff in that case, building? then uh, these two broadsides are in the second level. All right. The, the lid comes off. I think you can put them in there. And okay, it's broadsides. Uh, drones are on the bottom level. That's correct. Right. Right. And I'll, I'm just gonna put them, uh, tuck them behind sure. the building right here. And I'll leave the broadsides here so we know uh, right. that they're in the All building. Right, that's fine. Yeah, enclosed buildings continue to, to present problems yeah. that uh, okay. nobody um, wants. You know, but personally, I'm okay with that because infantry. Yeah, yeah so them. like I can only shoot out of these windows, these back yeah. ones. Yeah, so you'd have to actually one. see the target. So. These things. So if I'm right here, you gotta look. I'm just, I'm not a fan because of. Uh, there, the yeah, but they can still move up. They can be these. seen or not, and shot from the outside. Why is that? Well, I mean, a, technically, a, an enclosed ruin that has no windows in it or no holes in it. Uh, infantry can move in and out of, but because you can't draw a line of sight to them, you can't shoot them while they're in the building. Well, that just makes them more survivable, right? It makes them infinitely survivable. 
because uh, neither can you assault them. So they just sit there and they hop out when they want to. It's, it's, it's not good. So is this a Death Guard army with no Demon Princes? I don't think uh, Demon Prince back there. Yeah, there's two Demon Princes, correct? One Demon Prince. Gotcha. We'll zoom in on that when it gets out in the open. But, uh, Custom Epidemus and Demon Prince. Right, I see him behind the, the Plague Wars Crawlers. Jason has definitely been a huge fan of De Death Guard for a long time. I, I'd say Nurgle more than Death Guard. Yeah, FC Big Willie, I do agree it is good for armies that don't have guns. Like orcs, I'm being in buildings, you know, helps the orc armies out, helps um, anything with assault, right? Well, I don't mind a building that presents a completely closed off face to the, to the opponent. It's just that if it's not open in the back and it's declared a ruin and it's enclosed on all sides, that's that's when it becomes silly. Well, we can agree to disagree, right? Sure. Well, and, and I guess look at it from another way. There are, um, there are fortifications that you can take, right? They afford you the same type of protection in the sense that you can't be shot at while you're inside there. Uh, however, they're destructible. And these are not. So, so you're lobbying, lobbying for uh, destructible terrain? Uh, no, I'm lobbying for if you want the, the kind of benefits you're getting from this free terrain, uh, you, you should actually have to pay for it and bring it with you. So... Definitely uh, interesting thoughts for a Sunday morning, right? <laughs> is it is it too deep already? Is it? It, it, it is. <laughs> Brian, what are your thoughts? I don't know. I like. Uh, I kind of think that close combat armies not being able to out strike. There's a lot of things in the game that have been removed or detrimental to close combat armies. Uh, having some place for them to hide on the board is not a horrible thing. Especially when uh, shooting is king. Sure, and like I said, like I, presenting a closed face to your opponent's side of the table is perfectly fine. But but having it be enclosed 360, so that even if I do manage to get in your backfield, I still can't shoot your guys. Or if I outflank you, like none of it matters, and and the building can't be removed. All right, they're making the initial roll off for all their dice, or for, excuse me, first turn. And 
Tau player does not seize. It's going to be a good game. So it says uh, bonuses uh, if yeah, a player controls both objectives that they put down. Player control. Uh, what were your eight. secondaries again? Uh, old school headhunter and recon. Okay. They're going to advance the plague bearers. Okay. So they have a 7-inch move, plus 4, and they get additional one because they're instruments. So that's 5 plus 7, which is 13. That is not what the Tau player needed. It was for the I have a, a pre-game that matters. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right. Now I can spread out and do that board um, control thing. I get a 7 inches on my crew. All right. I'll move these. Yeah, yeah, just go ahead and move those back because they're okay. probably going to move into your spot. So Death Guard and Jason right, go took uh, Recon, Old School, and no, 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 no. Headhunter. No. Tau Player took uh, Reaper, Big Game Hunter, and Old School. Alright, these guys. Yeah, I would agree. The broad sides do look kind of small. Let's see if we can uh, get a nice shot of that. I started the time clock. <coughs> right. And uh, Dark Strider, he's going to use his extra movement to pop up here. You good? All there my pre-game go. moves are completed. All right, go back to my fort. Beautifully painted towel models with crew. <laughs> so I, we actually can't wait to get a uh, good shot of Epi the custom Epidemius. Like it, um, it's in the very back. And it looks really beautiful because it's like exploding out and, and uh, I believe a chaos spawn or, or some type of demon. Beautifully painted. Advance this boxcaster. Oh, that's an eleven. Plague bears. So there you go. Seven says so ten, eleven. Yeah, Death Guard movement's pretty textbook so far, right? Brian, have you ever played Death Guard? Yes. 
against or as? Yes. You know, if, uh, if people sit those Plague Bros crawlers in their backfield, they're doing it wrong. Psychic phase. We're going to go ahead. Before we leave the movement phase, I'm going to activate. Actually, uh, I'm going to. These guys are going to climb down and they're going to advance. So, uh, so that's 10 inches. They go five inches down and they get five inches over. Get them right there. I got grab, grab tool. Yeah. Uh, what that does is I pick a unit anywhere on the table and um, on a four plus they suffer D3 wounds, on a seven plus they suffer D6. And if your unit contains more than 10 models, they get plus one to the roll. All right, is that called a stratagem? No. Okay. It's just, a, it's a, once per battle, I, just, I can just do it. Uh, I'm going to do it on this unit of uh, guys. So that's going to be a three, does nothing. Cool. All right. So I'm going to start my psychic phase again. Yep. Uh, <laughs> he's going to cast uh, Miasma on uh -huh. to the Leviathan. Okay, it goes off on an eight. Uh, and okay. this guy here is going to smite. Goes off on a five. I feel like that's a really interesting choice for using that ability. One mortal wound, right? Yeah, it's one mortal wound. Okay. I'm gonna pluck off this guy. Oh, well, that guy? Yeah. <laughs> right. This guy here is going to smite that one. Okay. Goes off on a six. Perfect. Big one. What do you think that did? Uh, well, by interesting, I actually kind of mean questionable. Off. I'm not, I'm not really sure what the upside was going to be for that. And this one here is going to smite. No, wait. All right, never mind. I already did that. Can't get smite part. Yeah. All right, so I, next we're going to go to shooting phase. A whole lot, so I don't know what the result of it beginning. can be. I am pal illiterate sometimes. Uh, these don't have guns, right? No. Okay. Yeah, I mean, unless I'm misunderstanding it, that's the kind of thing you want to try and drop in on his uh, his little nucleus of commanders. Yeah, he does have them bunched up back there, too. Yeah, I'm also uh, very Tau inept. I, although, in 6th edition, I would definitely run my Riptide Wing with uh, anything else. I do have three Riptides to show for it. Actually, wasn't it the uh, Firebase Cadre, right? Remember that thing? I think the thing was pretty nasty. Yeah, that was really good. Fire Warriors up on the hill. It's, uh, it was in front. And not to, uh, <laughs> not to try and start early. anything with any Tau players, but uh, okay. there okay. wasn't a lot so that um, encouraged Tau players, players to develop really one a significant amount of skill in playing okay. the game like Do it was line your stuff anything? up and shoot everything um that's fine oh, it'll target one and i think their codex so is, uh, doesn't two, really uh, afford fireworks. them uh the any one. particular layers so one hit one make I, I don't know i think you could argue that it's still kind of the same can you, can you survive uh, long enough room? to outshoot everything on the board? One shot? At the... Right. I mean, I, I guess that's what I mean, right? Hit. Yeah. Wound. It does D3 plus 1 damage. So it does 3 damage. Yeah, go ahead. It's make 2. Okay. Next one is going to do the same thing. I'm going to target the fireworks over there with the, uh, with the what, what's it called? Uh, the marker light. light. Yep. Okay. I'll go ahead and spend one CP, so it has no penalty. And it's going to do the same thing, the, the bomb on the drone. Okay, so two hits. Uh, what's the toughness on the... Toughness three. Toughness three? Okay. Uh, so one wound, neg one. Okay. And then the mortar. Two shots. One hit. One wound. You get your invulnerable. What? 
Hey guys in Twitch land, let us know if uh, you guys want to see any different shots, any different cam camera angles. Uh, we're here to serve Next you guys. Do, uh, uh, you know what I want to do is I want to back up to a close the up of and trying to kill that same drone. What before. is that? The Death Guard Walker Redemptor? Is that the Redemptor? Yeah, it's Leviathan. Leviathan. It's, uh, it's all the two wounds to the crew. Neg one. Death Guard players are playing them right now. They're super durable. They had some uh, punch to the Death Guard shooting. They had dual but but butcher cannons. Yep. And uh, they don't get the penalties for moving and firing them like uh, one hit. other things do. What do the butcher cannons do? I'm not I'm not hip on this profile. Maybe Jason. I mean, they they do a fair amount of damage, um, and then they they add uh, negatives to your leadership modifiers when you're when it comes to roll for your morale checks. And they are super hard to get off the board in some instances. Sounds pretty broken to me. We should uh, it. I don't think so. I don't think they're broken. I played uh, an RTT, and uh, the guy brought three of them. And I was playing Knights mixed with uh, Astro Militarum and managed to get them off the board. Without the Knight. Yeah, they, they had a, a decent dimension um, to back up the to work with the Plague Risk Crawlers. Yeah, I think when uh, the Death Guard book dropped. A lot of people thought Plague Bruce Crawlers were going to be uh, a shitty unit that was going to do a lot of that. And as the game's evolved and the meta's changed, uh, they've realized Plague Bruce Crawlers are really good at just getting out on the board and holding down a position, as opposed to destroying stuff with shooting. You can do some work if you get the Flamers within range of things. Uh, but most time, if you're doing that, you're pulling yourself way out of position where they need you. I am surprised that uh, there's no foul blight spawns that I've seen. I, I think if uh, you're a Death Guard player, you like that Death Guard book, uh, you should at least have some foul blight spawns in there in your list for backfield protection or flyer protection. Are we lag? We're getting the spinning. There we go. Try to change our pull. Oh, yep, we do. Let's see. All right, Twitch, Twitch guys in here. We have. Uh, we're gonna put up a poll, predictive poll. You know who's gonna win? Should we put there or there in there? Who's is fine. <laughs> All right, if you are in the chat, uh, you should be able to answer the poll. Maybe Who's one. going to win, Death Guard or Tau? Let us know, we'll give you guys the results. And Should be I'll popping up on your screen. Good morning, John. Three drones die. Uh, it wouldn't have been four. You only passed one save on the drone, and you took five. Or one on five. him. Yeah, you took five. So one you pass. four drones. Only only five. Five. Four drones. Nothing else. And that leaves one of that squad of drones left. Yes, there's one left. Okay. All right. Well, that is all my shooting. Uh, so I'll go to scoring. Uh, uh, leadership on your your drone squad over there. Uh, You're I'm going to end a turn. Yeah, I don't got any assault. I, I advanced and all that. So okay. I don't want to assault you. I can assault you with more than one unit. Leadership here. 
like four or something in it. I think it's six. Okay, we lost four, so they're gone. Okay, so I killed something. And I hold one. I got my recon. And I got my old school. All right. Are you in all four table quarters? Yep. These over here are in that corner there. I have nurglings here. I have nurglings here. Uh... I have him just out. Just out? Damn it. Alright. No. Recon. Didn't quite make it. I got you at killed one. Yep. Old and kill one and hold one. Uh you would have to also do a morale. Yep. It lost uh, they lost five. Mm -hmm. Leadership ten because of the ethereal. Where's the ethereal? Is it just everything here? Okay. Is he Every, in anybody with this, uh, within six inches. And this is exactly six inches from him. So if the ethereal's right okay. in the middle, right. then he's got it. Um, so that means I need a. I'll just roll it. They're good. Okay. All right. <clears throat> um. Movement. Okay, our poll is 50 50 anyway. with Tau or Death Guard winning. Right. <coughs> hey, you see what just happened with that. the Ethereal babysitting the crew from inside the building? Um, That's another reason that these, guys are just gonna uh, these buildings are goofy. Join their, their, their friends. You don't like magic boxes? Once you get out to I don't. Like it, it, it has more benefits than a fortification does, and none of the drawbacks. But both oh, players have access to it. Gotta move. Well, it's one unit, so they all have to move. They have to move toward each other. You have to move. They all have to move to the middle. Okay. Yeah. So you'll have to move. Yeah. Good. It's say two inches. But, I mean, but two. like one army is built to take advantage of it, the other one isn't. So having access to it, I, I'm not sure how much that means. Like, so and then I don't, the I don't Death Guard player is supposed to there. stick somebody in a building just get because there. he has it. That's why they can't move. Cause that's that's over six. Over six, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Don't build a move. I love sticking my orc warriors in buildings and like having knights not oh, available yeah. to attack them. Brian loves putting uh, space wolf infantry choices on the shelf. <laughs> You can get yeah, you can do it if you okay. move them that way, but you only move this one a little bit. That's why it wouldn't okay. work. So I'll move him up six. Yeah, you can do it that way. Him up six. Yep. Um, you just won't be able to do that and hold so the objective. As far as the, the really limited yeah. shooting that the Death Guard player had, or staying the Ethereal's um, range. Uh, if this guy doesn't have well, an Ethereal we'll babysitting the recruit on the other side of the board, support. even though it seems weird, he should have cleaned them because he could have pushed everything up on on that side. Uh, it's left as we're looking at it, and then come across there. Well, I'm, the I'm out of my bubble for my, uh, yeah. All right, Jason, so you are the Adepticon 40k TF. Is that correct? That's correct. So are we gonna, no magic boxes at Adepticon? Right. Uh, That's what it sounds like. It sounds like. There are no they magic boxes in a death gun. Yeah. There you Reese, go. Reese, that is your tournament. Reese hates the term magic boxes. Magic box. Say no to crack. Oh, the opportunity will yet again arise. Um, yeah, those uh, broadsides are the old this school right broadsides. Here is going they are to not as dynamic as uh, the newer ones. Use, uh, branch Nova. Um, so that's CP, gonna, right? It's going to be one CP. And I'm going to attempt to see if I get it back. Huh? I thought it was just when your opponent sends CP. Me or you. 
Oh, okay. And only on sixes, right? Only on Does he have them on the, the new bases? Didn't their base size increase? Uh, so he is going to choose... They, uh, he did go to a bigger base, base size, and, uh, but he's got them on the bases that came on. Um, this guy, he's going to do uh, Nova Charge, but he is going to just choose a bigger gun. And they both lose a mortal wound. Yep. It's only one mortal wound, even though you did it twice. Yes. And that's a that's a another it's thing. One, uh, no matter if what, we're, if we're talking about differences um, uh, for Adepticon, uh, Ethereal is if you, going to choose if you bring a no model uh, that's been on an updated base size for more than a year, it and... needs to be on the updated base size. Nice, you, you put that in player back. It is, yeah. Good deal. A savage. Bad idea. That is super savage. Well, it comes into play, you know, things like, edition, uh, yeah, exactly. orcs on small bases, you know, they should be on, on the proper size 32s, and things like, uh, you know, blood letters, whatever, it can come into play as far as the number of attacks they get in close combat, or piling in, etc., etc. So how long do your orcs have? Um, so, orcs have, uh, they're, they're in sort of their grace period, however, the, the inquiries that I've responded to, I've, I've pointed out that uh, if they show up with um, their models all on 25s, that they can expect their sportsmanship scores to, to reflect the fact that they brought, you know, 90 or more boys on, on 25s. That's super savage. Is it because you can get more attacks in on a 25 mil base versus a 32? It's exactly that. Which means that there's there's really, I mean, unless you are, uh, unless you've devoted your entire 40k career to, to worshipping Gork and or Mork, uh, there's only one reason to leave your, your boys on 25s. They're on 32s. You know, there are some people out there that have worshipped Gork and Mork their entire lives. Uh, one of them is Rich Kilton. He was at LVO. He literally bought a custom uh, gigantic squig off. And he was, I mean, all of his Orc boys were beautifully painted. He had custom um, glyphs for their war boss telling the story. It was pretty epic. It was pretty epic. And that's really cool. And I think that you know, if you're if you're sitting across the table playing that guy, and he's got his stuff on twenty fives, you're probably not going to ding his sportsmanship score because you can recognize that that the reason he's doing that is because of a deep love for the army, and not because he's trying to perpetuate uh, an advantage. Bill lost you. Uh, you be as enthusiastic as you would like, my man. It is really early, but I did get more than four hours of sleep last night. Jason has been on a 24-hour grumpy binge. No, I haven't. No, the other Jason. I've been sick. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> like, uh... So did he just push his commander all the way up there? Is that a suit commander? Yes, he did. Interesting. So, is he trying to snipe something, or what is he doing up there? He's trying to, uh, I think, fusion gun some play first crawlers. We'll see how that works out for him. It's a bold play in cotton. And I mean, it's interesting for sure. Uh, so I am going to choose uh, this pox uh, unit, and then them and everybody within six inches of them also get a marker light. Huh. That's yeah, yeah, he'll be, he'll be. everybody yeah, over he'll there. Be, he'll be. You see, you guys see what he did? It's like oh, bro, with yeah, marker lights. <laughs> so it gets everybody. Besides, like, the Nurglings up there. And this one doesn't get it. Yeah, that one doesn't get it. Um, and this guy. Dark Strider is... 
going to uh, shoot his marker light at the only tank that doesn't have one. And he is going to elect a yeah, unit. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I, uh, I sold off plus... my, my tower army about uh, a little over a year ago. And I have no plans to, to buy one. That's super sad. Hey, Bill Lowe's, uh 10. I would agree. I'm actually surprised there are crew in this list, to be honest. But I think uh, Death got going first. Uh, he pushed those plate burst crawlers up there before the crew can get within range. So. And then uh, if you move those crew towards plate burst crawlers, that is a lot of auto hitting flamers. To hold the objective. Uh, so hits. So they've got a marker knight. What's up, Charles? It's Charger Fireblade. What doesn't have a marker light? This the Herald. Characters? This Herald and this Lures. And this. If you have uh, not. We have a poll going. Go into the poll and vote. Yeah, I guess. Uh, Either Death Guard has this or Tau. So far, we have two votes for Death, Death Guard, one vote for Tau. Sixty-seven percent to thirty-three. Uh, the middle tank. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna vote after the so first round of shooting is over. He for was the also within six, so he should yeah. have three. Yeah. I would definitely agree with that too. I am going to um, use one more objective. Or one more thing. I'm going to use uh, uplinked uh, marker light. So instead of getting one more, he gets D3 plus one, and that costs one command point. So on him? Correct. So he, he has two plus two. Three. So he's got five now. So he is completely lit up. Okay. Um, now the shooting begins. Yeah, and uh, using those crew to screen, uh, like I said, he does have those broadsides on, uh, would be to your right fire range. on the building. Um, plague, uh, plague uh, bearers get into shoot, that. Um, There'll be some problems. This four man squad that get uh, plus one to wound on uh, okay. that pocket. Negative one to hit. Okay, uh, so I'm negative one to hit, and I get a plus one. Um, yeah, no, the crude screen one, is uh, pretty cool. Reroll, re it's, it's fine. Yeah. Um, You're hitting on five. I don't know. Does he only one have hit. one of those plague burst crawlers with one marker hit. lights on it? And um, toughness, toughness four, BB threes. Because you're strength five, right? Uh, I actually need twos. I'm strength five, but I get plus one to wound. Okay. All right, so one wound, no AP. The Iceman <laughs> calling it. So the Cold Star will charge the Nerdlings and pile into the Plague Crawlers. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Although I do agree, I think you uh, you call it right. that. Uh, I am going to spend uh, three command points. I mean, that's going to save for one round. I'm going to use Focus to, Fire. Yeah, that's going to get Fox slaughtered. Fire. Uh, basically, my entire army now has plus Well, you know, if it gives him another round of shooting with the Riptide, I guess. But I'm not really seeing what's a, a threat to those Riptides for a turn or two. I mean, a Demon Prince could pop out from behind there at some point. But I, I still think he's got another good turn or two of shooting with those Riptides. Uh, next, I'm going to fire these Fire Warriors into that squad. Using the play burst crawlers like uh, offensive linemen One hit. to, to get hit. your running, running back into the, the end zone. I'm moving you on uh, two. Two wounds. No AP. One more die. Now, um, I'm going to shoot my commander in the uh, middle tank. Mm -hmm. So. It's going to be ones, reroll ones, but it's going to be twos, obviously. Uh, so reroll ones. Right. Three hits. 
Toughness eight. Toughness eight. Uh, strength eight, so force. Uh, if he does do the this with mm. his cold start, he's gonna have to watch out for heroic intervention. Mm. Gonna reroll? Because if he um, if he wants to try to pile in yeah, and one. pick up both of those plague verse crawlers, I think doesn't he could. Matter. I'm not sure if his usually base when is you quite wide enough. One dies, it usually doesn't but then he's gonna right. put himself pretty close to uh, that. I'm gonna see if difference. I get that one back. I do. Uh, sweet. Right. All right, but I am done for doing that shenanigan for the rest of the battle round. Okay. Uh, well, now things are interesting. I'm sure I'll be fine. Alright, uh... Huh. You phoning a friend? No. I, I, after attacking in the shooting phase, I have to move him. He gets to move six inches. So, he is just going to move back six inches. Okay. No objective for you. No. Nope. Well, I wasn't claiming it anyway. I mean, it's, it was all up in there. Um, all right. Uh, well, we were all wrong. This guy right here. That's is right. He did totally move it back. <laughs> his uh, big gun into the middle tank. We are. And... Maybe it's chaos, pal. They're just going for anarchy. Smart missile systems into the box. Plague bears, you mean? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever they are. <laughs> so the cold star shot that middle right, one. Uh, Did you take anything off of it? The ones that hit. The doesn't, one hit. Doesn't look like it. So it was lit on fire. Did he not use marker lights? Or, oh no, he doesn't need to use them anymore. Sorry. But so. <laughs> wow. Uh, what do you normally hit on? I normally hit on four. So well said, two. Jason. Yeah. Well said. Uh, strength five, but uh, because it's plus one to wound, I hit wound on juice. There we go. Well, six six your dice. <laughs> you can't get mad at me for that. <laughs> All right, I didn't kill anything either. Gun. Your dice you killed your like own unit with that commentary. Yeah. I haven't killed anything. You can't get mad at me. <laughs> it's on you. This is uh, this has been a pillow fight so far. All right, big gun into uh, the tank. All right. How many dice you get? Eighteen shots. Eighteen. Okay. Uh, hit once. on fours, right? I hit on. You have no penalty. Yes, but one. he's got plus one B, uh, BS, so I'm okay. actually hitting on threes. All right, so you got some twos there. Yeah, so these twos don't hit, oh. and I get to reroll all these ones. That's much better. All right, toughness eight. What's your strength? All right, uh, it's uh, strength six. All right, so any fives? Any fives? And one more. Uh, four wounds. Four AP minus two. AP minus two. Okay, I guess I'll take my demon save. I hear that's a good thing to take. Uh, I don't want to take it either. Our dice are betraying us. So four. And it, just one wound apiece? It's two wounds each. All right. Dice, dice are pretty terrible right, right now. Feel no pain. They should be using these stream dice. Get past not top their top own. Four. Take They'll four. Probably would have okay. made well, you got started. Safe. That's, how, that's how it starts. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot more guns. I don't feel bad. <laughs> Get more guns than I do. Alright, um this guy right here, he is going to fire um his big gun into the same tank and uh little guns into uh the Poxwalkers. Got it. They're not Poxwalkers. Blake you know what I mean. Shoot the Poxwalkers are over there. <laughs> they might have range. Alright, uh <laughs> So this is this is this is to him? Yeah. Alright. Uh, they got one to hit, they're hitting on fives. Yeah. So uh, Reroll once. Two. Yep. Three, so three hits. hits. All right. And it's strength uh, four. Strength five. Strength five. Oh, strength. So wounding on twos. Yep. Two. <coughs> Come on, be a neural. There we go. Been a neural. Look at that. And again, like not. I mean, unless he's trying to knock down the profile All of that right. uh, uh, plague burst crawler, like he needs uh, to remove them. Yeah. Big gun in the middle tank. Zero one. Fuck out all these two. Yep. That's better. They need fives. You need to get like two of them. Just two. Two will be fine. I don't want you to feel bad. For those of you guys watching, uh, we do have a poll. If you haven't already uh, submitted your answer, the poll is who is going to win, Death Guard or Tau? 
currently tied 50% to 50%. Okay, fail four. I'm sure we'll have some uh, late voters like Mr. Lippert. But. Oh, it's eight. I got him. So. Does he blow up? We'll see. No, he does not. Oh, darn. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Well, there's one you did, God. Finally, something died. So, let's see here now. Uh, these fruit, um, they advance. They, 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 yep, right? they have rapid fire, right? Same with them. They have rapid fire. That, that is correct. correct. He has not fired those broadsides uh, yet. Um, I'm gonna fire both of the. Uh, I'm gonna fire this uh, front unit of broadsides. I'm gonna fire the big missiles here, and I'm gonna shoot. Um. I think the last three can. I don't know about this, the the one in this corner here. You see, it's just a, this one, and this one. Yeah, I don't think I won't be able to hit the other ones. Can all right. So I'm gonna fire these guys. Uh, uh, big missiles in here. Mm -hmm. uh, smart missiles. I don't think I'm gonna have range for those guys over there. Mm -mm. So um, they will just go into. Uh, let's go into these guys. Nerlings? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do the uh, smart missiles into the Nerlings. Okay. Hit on fours, right? Yes. Reroll once. And normally wounding on fives, or they're uh, straight fives. So what are the toughness? Three? Two. Two. Okay. So One doesn't do it. Three wounds. So these one, two? Yeah. Okay. So six. Five, six. Six. They do one damage piece? Yeah. And minus one. All right. Well, these dice are going to be going away. <laughs> <laughs> so that was two. six dead? Yep, I know. And feel no pains. That's better. That's better. Three. Three. So one base? Nope. Uh, they're four wounds, right? Yep, they are. Oh, darn. Well, right, uh, big missiles now. The, uh, the Nurgling rule that if you have a, a was it a damage two weapon, that uh, Nurglings are squishy. Kind of like, like the, the old uh, double your toughness, toughness remove a base I'm rule, right? All these twos. It's similar, yeah. It's just that they they can't uh, take their their feel and pain against them. Yeah. So these are strength seven, so they're gonna take fives. Yep. That's why when uh, the Scorpius whirlwind was a thing, uh, that was like a, a good target for nerds. Minus two. Or a good good thing to shoot them at was nerds. Good, good. Okay. They're being nerdal again. <laughs> Dice for curse. You jinxed them. Jinxed them with your beard. Right. Beard magic. Using the laser um, pointer again. <coughs> he is going to fire. Um, or this unit is now going to fire. I'm going to oh, fire. That was just the unit that's fired first? Yeah, Excuse me, marker light. These two are going to fire. Uh, three of their big missiles into the tank. All of their smart missiles and one big missile into this squad. So I'm going to shoot the big missile into this squad first. I reroll once. One hit. One wound. AP minus two. Okay. How many damage? D3 each. Okay. Roll D3. So three. three. D All right. Three you wounds. got it. I'm going to go right. fresh uh, up my coffee. I'll be right back. Um, smart missiles. All right. These guys. Reroll ones, pluck out the twos and threes. So 
Seuss. It's uh, 10 wounds, um, minus one. One damage piece, right? Correct. Got another one. <coughs> that's four. That's one base. One. Two. Alright. Uh, the remainder of my big missiles into this, so three of them. That's too many twos. Two. Minus two. And two damage? Uh, they're D3. Or just roll D3. So three. So it takes three? Yep. <coughs> uh, this squad of fire warriors and uh, both, like, all the fire warriors are going to fire into, or we'll do it one at a time. These five and these front five are fire into this guy. Okay. I don't think you're in rapid fire with any of them. I'm not. Okay. So. Yeah, you're, but uh, you are within 30th range, so you're good. Yeah. Uh, first squad. I uh, reroll once. So, three hits. Uh, three wounds. No AP. All good. Uh, next squad. One hit. One win. One win. Got a wound on it. Uh, last squad over here. Yep. Good roll once. Good roll. Uh, one. He's near it all. <laughs> all right. Uh, Shadow Sun. I, I forgot that they, they all reroll hits. Uh, that's irritating. Uh, yeah, I forgot to measure that. Forget recon, so we both forget something. <laughs> All right, um, Shadow Sun is going to fire her fusion blasters into this squad. Okay. Do these overheat or anything? No. All right. Uh, Reroll. She hits. She hits on twos normally? Yes. Okay. And uh, there's strength four. eight. Okay. So, so two, two at minus four. Two four-ups because I warp surge. Doesn't matter. And how much damage piece? Uh, D6. Roll two D6. All right, so one takes five. One takes four, one takes five. Uh, so it dies, and one takes four, and it dies. So you kill two of them really, really badly. Woo! So. <coughs> Is that all you're shooting? Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. The Tau of Tau. That is uh, uh, we the believe he did not. My turn, sir. All right, no, no assaulting. Uh, no. <laughs> Alright, cool. I got leaderships to run, so I got a leadership here. You kill two. Uh, they're fine. You kill two over there. They're fine. reason I rolled it is because and, uh, I could gain models. swarms are fearless, right? No, they're not fearless. Uh, I theoretically could possibly lose that. So I'll roll that too. I don't. Right, no, good. That, I wish I rolled that for them. I had a game model. Alright, what I miss? Alright. Nothing All right. much. Um, just so some nerdlings. Poxwalker's dying. dying. Yep. That's pretty much it. So, uh, you killed one. I did kill one. Yep. And you hold one. I hold more. Uh, uh, you got one big game hunter. And and you don't have Reaper. You're not even close to getting Reaper. No, I got I got one old school. Yes, one you, big game hunter. Yep. I, I hold one. I killed one. Yep. Uh, you killed. Yeah, I mean, we, I feel like we didn't kill star. more. Neither um, of us did. No, he's we didn't die one. anyway. Um, and now he's going to die for. Practically nothing. I almost killed two. 
I almost killed Yeah, I definitely agree yeah. with that. <laughs> Alright, and... You, you definitely Alright, I'm gonna go and take my turn. Yep. Alright, so... Die game so far. <laughs> Michael. These guys are going through the bottom level. Okay. No, that's where they are on the bottom level. Sure. Okay, we have a score update. It is four to four at the top of two. All right, Jason, what's your thoughts? I mean, I, uh, now you want me I to think the Death Star player takes it now. No. <laughs> well, the Demon Prince is going to be in threat range of things. What's his armor? Two up? He's a three up. It's time for that gold star to probably go away. Yeah, the space marine was six wounds. Yeah, and, and so everything's going to keep coming up the middle. Um, he's going to get at least one more turn, where his Demon Prince is nominally protected, really minus fast. screen, and then he'll be close enough to hop out and start smacking things. Are his guns as scary as they look? Yeah, they're the, that's the 16 shots. Uh, strength, uh, strength 8, AP, Meg 1, 4, 2 damage P. So, yeah, he's, he's, pretty, he's pretty stout. <laughs> Sorry. I bumped it. Oh no. He's the bottom level, of course. Okay. Yeah, do you have anything left to reserve? Uh yeah, I still have my uh my crew character. Okay. What's he do? Um, so he's, he's got a sniper bolter. Okay. Um, and he gets an additional plus one to his cover save. <laughs> or a plus two, sorry. So he gets a three plus yeah. cover save. So I'm really worried about him. Yeah, no, he didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In the uh, in the top right corner near that objective, are those more nerglings? Yep, looks like it. Okay, so he's got nerglings left, right, and then he had ones in the middle. Yeah, they're just camping on objectives, doing their thing. Yep, this is the uh, the one that you were talking about. Yeah. So, because uh, the crew character, he's going to try and come on, right? And uh, he gets outflanked, doesn't he? Like I said, I uh, am not adept at knowing the towel. So. Do you mind asking the player? Yep, we can. I'm going to wait a little bit because I don't want to remind your player of anything mid game. Sure, sure. Yeah, but if I'm right, he's going to be looking to get into um, the Death Guard player's backfield and score like a line breaker or take a backfield objective or something like that. And it's going to be really hard with those nerdlings there. If I can see him, you can make the judge. Uh, and the one over there with the marker can. light. And the one over there with the marker light. Okay. Yep. And his flamer is going to go ahead and flame that guy. What's the range? Eight inches. Should be eight inches. Yeah. That's eight. <laughs> you're definitely in there. <laughs> is, is that so the you're still from, like, in his back of your field? base? Finals crazy. Yep. Awesome. He did it. Do 
doing what the tally yeah, man do. Yeah, clearly. Oh, yeah. All right. So here we go. The one's over there. This is the DACA. Uh, hitting on threes now. We're rolling ones because there's a demon prince there. Two. Yeah, Bill Host, uh, we definitely think he is going to time those broadsides with with those pox walkers. Good call. Good call. Any other calls in chat that you want guys to make? And we'll do the same thing to the other fires over there. All right. So, uh, all, all but one hit. And all but, uh, all wound here. So you have seven, seven on the ones over there. Neg one. One, two, three. I got one guy left. All right. And then negative two on their leadership, too. Alright, and 2d6 yeah, flames on that little guy over there in front of me. I decided to come up and try to hurt me, so four. It's strength five, what's your toughness? Uh, for him? Yeah. It's uh, teeth, uh, teeth. Alright, needs fours. Have you guys seen the uh, the shadow spear box? Right. What's it I have. Doing? So you have two uh, nig ones. What do you guys think? So I think uh, chaos is underwhelming. Alright, takes two damage. So hopefully there's some context that make them better. If there's not context that makes them better, there's going to be some super salty chaos players out there. Um, some of the new Space Marine stuff actually looks usable. Daka is going to go ahead and shoot. Uh, yeah, I think the last fire we're in a weird okay. place with chaos because people have right. been asking for new chaos models for so long that really just putting out new sculpts. Um, they feel like it should satisfy most people, but these days now people want new sculpts and they want updated rules because Space Marines and Chaos, not Death Guard, but but Chaos sort of vanilla-ish. Um, well, they, they suffer from the uh, early book syndrome. Right, early book, and and the, the overvaluation of a three-up save, a you know, power armor save, really. Yeah, well, the game that, uh, I, I don't feel like toughness is the, the factor in the game that it was in the vision ago. So, relying on Space Marines being toughness 4 and having a 3-up save, uh, like you said, it's way overvalued for what it actually does when it plays out on the tabletop. So, I do like that they're trying some things, like, uh, if you look at the new camo cloaks, uh, they're a plus 2 save camo cloak. And uh, should make them more survivable. Being able to deep strike, or not deep strike them, but deploy them in no man's lands and keep it a bubble of you can't drop in on me within 12 inches uh, yeah that's kind of cool that stuff is like the space marine side of it they're getting some really good rules going to be really functional and i think <clears throat> i think what they're doing now is they're, they're trying to add more value to the units and still keep them at the points that they are rather than uh, continuously slash their points down uh, or the, and then the other thing to do of course would be to increase the cost of all the baseline infantry models to bring them up closer to what a space marine costs because a, a guardsman you know it's it's clearly not worth four points five points you could argue for you know argue well for especially the catch and you know they're already they're strength four they hit just as hard as space marine right so i think the those those are not appetizing options like reducing the point costs on space marines isn't really an appetizing option. Increasing the the point cost too much more than, than they already have been would have been nudged up. Um, for like cultists, you know, they got nudged up. Um, so adding more value at the point cost that they are is, uh, I think, the best option. Yeah, I do think that the uh, the possessed uh, deep in uh, there might be some combos that come out of it. Uh, obliterators being uh, d6 shots their weapon could be a good thing but i just uh we'll have to see the points i, I i'm not sure that there's enough in that chaos book to uh bring them back to life when you say d6 shots what, what do you mean by that well i think the the number of shots the obliterators got went up yeah but it's not random though they just got a flight increase is it yeah it, it used to be what d3 you're thinking a long, long time ago. I think they're getting four shots. Maybe, yeah. So, but the having six shots is nice. I'm, I'm, 
man, as far as the sculpts themselves, uh, I'm hoping all of the Chaos models are not sleeveless and, and pantless now. So. Well, here we are. Yeah, so it's like uh, they're a bunch of a bunch of dudes out fighting in their underoos. It makes it way easier to take AOS models and convert them. It does. It does. I, however, will be getting the box set because I am that fanboy. I've been. Uh, we have a friendly league that goes on in my shop, and I've been considering doing my own Space Marine chapter. So some of the new stuff will be super cool for it. I do, I do like the snipers. I think those snipers are, are good and they'll have some play. Especially with uh, Gene Sierra Colt being character synergy driven. Probably coming up in the meta soon. Uh, the reason we haven't seen a lot of them so far is I just think people just, you know, just don't have them put together and built right now. Yeah, absolutely. Gene, Gene Sierra Colt is um, still kind of wonky, which means there, there are going to be some broken or near broken combinations. What are some some of the combinations you think would be uh, broken? Well, I mean, one of them came off of the new FAQ, um, where GW inadvertently appears to have allowed, you know, like six units to go into that ambush because they have the redeploy strategy that's similar to the Eldar. Um, and if there's a second ruling on that or a second clarification on whether or not that uh, is okay or not. If it is okay, it's extremely, extremely powerful. It would be the most powerful thing uh, since the nerfing of, you know, turn one charges and turn one assaults and stuff like that. Incredibly powerful. I was fixing my mind, Jason. Sorry about that. Yeah, no worries. Um, I mean, that's the first thing that comes to mind because it's this, it's it's dirt simple to understand and play and take advantage of um and it has nothing to do with like like finding some hidden combination of, of buffs and and stratagems it's just oh i'm going to do this thing to you that nobody gets to do anymore uh, except us and it's really effective because we're an excellent close combat army yeah for somebody wanting good gene shooter cult tactics you can listen to the latest episode of the flying monkeys wargaming podcast where we have john lennon on and uh, for those who don't know who John Lennon is, probably one of the better players in the ITC, uh, towards the top of the Gene Steeler Colts, uh, knows what he's talking about. It was a really good episode. We went through a lot of those combos and synergies, and uh, he schooled us in the ways of the Gene Steeler Colt. Nice. Well, we are in the assault phase, huh? Those flavors crawlers are way up. Demon Prince is way up. Demon Prince is about to give a bad touch to the Gold Star. Did uh, did the Leviathan shoot anything? I don't see enough models going. <laughs> he fired the Leviathan. I think he had some Fire Warriors to give them negative leadership. And uh, I need to get away from the table so I can talk to the tactics. The Tau player, I think, is playing towards the blocking things out of the top floor of these buildings in hopes that the plague, bur the plague bearers can't get up there. So I think Jason is whittling away the fire warriors with the negative leadership, hoping that whenever he gets there, he will have space up there to attack whatever's still shooting at. Uh, interesting. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but that's my guess. Yeah, I think the uh, I think the ethereal is gonna help them hold pretty tight though. I mean, you pretty much have to clean out the fire warriors. Although I'm not sure where the other charges were, unless they just did a couple charges and resolved them, and now they're doing other things. No, they did. So that was it. Getting that cold star commander off the board is uh, it's pretty important. It happens. Most people throw those cold stars out there knowing they're going to die, knowing they're going away. 
Yeah, I mean, he could have bad touched at least one of those crawlers, and uh, that would have, you know, cut his shooting in half. Sun is cool. Uh, Marker light phase. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna fire the Contra fire blade into uh, this guy. So it hits. So he's got one marker light. Um, this guy is gonna fire a marker light into him. Uh, hits. So he's got two. <clears throat> Use uh, two command so points. Every, every time the uh, Tau no, player no. goes through like the, the marker light phase, it brings me uh, back to like a wish list for Tau. This guy, wish list is that marker light into, a baseline uh, rule for Tau would be that marker lights are flying everywhere, and so like reroll ones is you know predominant. Like if you have a marker light in your unit, you get reroll ones. And then you can build up from there. That way, he won't, they won't have to roll every single time. Right. You you would you'd be able to like as long as you have a dude with a marker light in your unit. Like I don't know if that's a thing or not, but um, you know you know what I'm saying. Like like you could be like, oh, your your uh, your sarge. She takes a marker light. You automatically get reroll once as long as your sarge is alive. Aren't you a playtester? I mean, I might be. <laughs> so, so what, what you're, you're saying, saying is that, that might be a reality scene. Mm. I mean, I'm not saying anything like that at all. Um, but, but as a as a person who's like who had a Tau army and you know, I, I like the aesthetics of them. I love I love Max. Um, the, the the continued the constant Achilles heel in the army is the interaction and the fragility of marker lights. Didn't they have to be marker lighted first? No. Can I see that strategy? You just pick something and, and so, pick something. you know, any any iteration of their codex that doesn't phase, um, before you start address your that. You like that. Um, kind of like, kind of continues to let them down. Like they're a shooting army that, like once you once you cut out like one small part of their army or negate it, like it actually can't shoot anymore. So it's just weird. Why would the Tau allow this to to continue to go on? They'd be like, hey, you know what? We should do something different. Bye. I mean, they could get into assault. I've seen a Tau fire warrior take down a knight. Stop. I've never seen that. Oh, the only two to have them. That's what she needs. Um, first gun, I'm going to shoot, I'm gonna shoot Saddle Sun into uh, this unit right here. Yeah. Ugh. Um. I'm gonna use mm -hmm. the command and control node to reroll one of those. It's a once per game thing. It's a once per game thing. So hits. Okay, another thing too, like like the the tower uh, player started with so what force. thirteen command points, I think it was, and well, he has bled command points like non. -stop. That removes all marker life, right? <laughs> <laughs> to almost no effect. All right. Uh, this tank right here, or this guy right well, here. Well, we have a round him. update. Um, Big gun into him, Let and me, then uh, see if we can pull this up. Fire into uh, the swarm right there. It looks, looks like, like uh, table two. Bruce Meeker lost to Justin Lois in a forty to twenty-two uh, loss. Does that means uh, that's yeah. Johnson. 
If you take a look at game one on the stream, that was uh, Bruce was on here with his what Harlequin Yunari list. Oh, I mean, excuse me, Drakari. Drakari. I'm used to Duncan, uh, touching Duncan in bad places with his Harlequin list. So, Duncan, if you're listening, you're probably not because you're a loser. Yeah. I doubt his fiance gave him permission today. <laughs> That's very accurate, I agree. His host play guy at our local shop. And uh, yesterday he was in the chat. He's like, yeah, I hadn't talked to my fiance yet. Let me see. I'm like, dude, grab a sack and say I'm going to play 40k. Hey, man, I, I secured permission for my wife to do this casting today, so I he completely said, understand. Grab your sack. <laughs> I like to have food that's cooked without spit in it. And my laundry washed and all okay. sorts of other things. Well, the, the consequence of that is you guys are swapping spit anyways. So it's a, it's a zero-sum game in my opinion. So my, my girlfriend, I'm like, hey, I got a game Monday at whatever. And she's like, okay, that's it. That's the discussion. All right, so I'm, I'm not going to poke fun at your personal life, but I, I will point out the sentence that you just said included the word girlfriend. Well... When, when, she, when it's wife, it's going to be the same discussion. I have a game at whatever. I'm going to go play it. Okay. All right, the second thing I want to say is this. You know how there are different types of sweat? There's like good workout sweat, and then there's like fear sweat. I think there are different types of spit. And I think one of them is spite. Huh. Well, some guys pay money for that sort of thing, so... I'm not one of them. It's negative when you hit, no matter what. Until you take him down below 20. And, 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 the, and the be in the face. So, even if you kill all of them now but one, they still get it. Then on five. Three hits. Oh, two wounds. Still no pants. One bites it. <coughs> That's how it starts. And um, I haven't said it already, so I'm going to say it now, but, but right, uh, Big Vessels is here. king. Roll once. Toughness 8 is good. Needs an invulnerable with it most instances, so. 37 on Epox. Four? Four. <clears throat> Minus two. And they're three D three D three each. D three? Oh that's so it. How many go through? Three. Three. Uh six, seven, eight. Take four, which will kill him on a five up, he explodes. <coughs> see if that uh, your your guy over there is within six. Let's see who's involved in six here. Everybody's within six and this tank is also within six. He is not. And these so, guys are But your big thing isn't. This thing and this thing. I'll go ahead and spend one to automatically detonate. Well, you rolled a six anyway, right? I, no, I, haven't, rolled, I haven't rolled it. I was oh, going to okay. say, that was my field of pain. I haven't oh, rolled okay. anything. So it does D3. So D3 to uh, the tank. Take, it takes one. And it feels no pain. Uh, your character takes two. Uh, and your monster. Takes one. And boop. All right. What? Well, uh, I guess we're doing this. <coughs> All right. Um, I'm going to fire the next unit of broadsides right here. So is he already done shooting at the other uh, Cyber's Crawler? One, he's out. Uh, so I'm gonna have to split fire again. Uh, he's gonna shoot his yeah, smart looks like system it. into the swarm. Uh, he's gonna shoot his smart missile systems into this squad. <coughs> and all of the big guns are gonna go into this thing. Yeah. So smart missiles into the swarm. Hello, hello. Okay, awesome. So I've got the uh, handheld mic on. I'm going to 
find Justin Lois. Oh, nope. We got the uh, T.O. of uh, the Desperate Allies Tournament. Uh, where's Justin at? You don't know? He's over there. What, do you mind? Do you mind grabbing him real quick? All right, thanks, man. Say something for the stream. I love you. I know we are doing a pretty good job. Bruce, you're here, right? Yeah. You got uh, you got brutalized for uh, your your turn against Justin. You know, Justin's a seasoned player. Uh, he yeah, he's almost as good as me. He's almost? No, he, he was better than me today. No. <laughs> this is the first time I played him, so, um, yeah, it was an experience. I don't play a lot of ad mech. There are no ad mech players in my area, so while I was familiar with the uh, rules, you know, and I knew elec what Electro Priest could do, I knew what the Robot Chickens could do, um, what I didn't, what I couldn't see in my head was the pre-game move and uh, then just being able to get upfield so quick, so... If I had deployed about five inches back, it would have been manageable, but I deployed my grotesques on the deployment line, which was a big mistake. So, it's incredibly fast. All right, cool. Well, we have, uh, so I want to give you guys a treat real quick. You know, Justin has just finished his game. Uh, he's playing an ad mech list, what they brought at LBO. And so this is what we're going to be streaming for the next table uh, for the final game here at the Desperate Allies Tournament. And uh, Justin, I just want to get your takes on the game you got with Bruce. Uh, obviously, it was a 40-22 win, and uh, you guys are done about an hour and a half early. So uh, just walk us through the highlights and uh, what you're looking forward to the next game. Yeah, so the highlights of the game was, uh, I mean, Bruce obviously won last year, so I came in, you know, thinking that I'm going to have to play my best game of the, of the four games I've played so far. Um, and I had to, absolutely. Um, I did win the roll-off to go first. Um, luckily, uh, if, I, if I didn't, there would have been, um, probably would have been the opposite or, you know, maybe even a little closer for sure. Um, and uh, I got the Stygies move off with the Dragoons. Came, I, they moved 19 inches after my initial movement phase, so it's about a, about a five or six inch charge or something. The Electro Priest um, disembarked from the drill, also five, six inch charge. Got into the grotesques. There was a little bit of a hole once I piled in, and I um, I had um, uh, said that I was going to charge Eldrad, who was in the big blob with the grotesques, and um, there was a little hole. I got to him and put four guys into him. Uh, got sixes on my my Electro Priests. Three of them did D3 mortal wounds. Uh, Bruce's, I mean, even the even the game that we played with me going first, Bruce's dice were were cold as ice. Um, you know, I hopefully he wins some money, maybe he can buy a, uh, a new set today um, because they were uh, they were cold. But you know, obviously, if, he, if he's using the same dice from last year, they're they're probably hot at sometimes, and just today wasn't wasn't great. Um, but was able to kill Eldrad. He rerolled one of the um, feel no pains and. And it, it didn't go his way, um, so got rid of Doom and Fortune. Um, the the Chicken Walkers, like everyone calls them, the Dragoons, got to um, fight last in the in the in his phase um, for his turn, and uh, he didn't get end up getting kill enough. So I, I wiped out the Spears after they charged, and after that um, we just kind of walked through exactly how the game was going to go after turn two, and um, it was a really really good game. I mean Bruce is is one of the best players here, obviously, no question about it. So I'm really excited to play on stream and. Um, hopefully take home the title um, at the uh, in the next round. Awesome. We'll have you out here. Well, good luck. Right, we'll see you on stream you. next. Appreciate it. You got it. You got the Nurgle. <laughs> Nurgling is always the one to win me game. The only reason you have a chance with this game is because I left Nurgling at home or just misplaced. <laughs> Four Nurglings is, is, is undefeatable. Getting all fours. Look at all those threes and twos. Oh, you don't want to read all those. I really do. They want to be ones. Oh. Threes is okay. Right, they need fives. Four? Fours? Minus two. <coughs> so three? How much did they do? Two piece? Two piece. Yeah. Ah, uh, I can't roll that again. <coughs> um, 
It is going to be these uh, fire warriors right here. Um, Dark Strider is going to choose that they get uh, these fire warriors get plus one to wound here. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dark Strider has already fired his market light. So, right. I don't think you're going to do that during my shooting phase. Okay. Um, you are actually in rapid fire range. So that means I get 15 shots on you. One, One more time, time Jason. Jason. 15 inches. Uh, how many wounds yeah. does that Plague Burst Crawler have left? That first one is, the other ones are out. <coughs> Looks like one. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of them is, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. one of them is... I think he has six. Like that, but when you go diagonal, yeah. you go straight there. These yeah. two guys are, the other guys aren't. So three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total. I thought he just failed a, a batch of, uh... Pretty good. Your roll? Feel no pain. And normally I'd need fives, but I need fours. Uh, it's four. No minus. Three up armor? Take one. Two? Uh, it does two damage? No, no. It's uh, two yeah. got through, right? No, one got through. I have a three of armor. Yeah. I know, but you... You failed. Ah. You failed three of them. I failed three, and I passed the, the feel no pains on all but 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 uh, one. You passed on a four? Yeah, I passed four feel no pains. Oh, okay. No. I, th I thought it was a five, like uh, no. the other guys. No, it's four. Okay. So, no, uh, no, they have a five. I rolled a five. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that is my shooting face. Sounds, Sounds like, like he has, has a couple, couple wounds left. left. I, think I think three. Oh yeah, they have. I guess so. Um, Did they advance? No. Okay. Uh, they're just gonna rapid fire into how many wounds this guy left? Uh, yeah. he has five the, the closer it gets to like the critical points of the game, the, the uh, more you should roll your dice in front of your opponent. They're gonna opponent. take five anyway. That's, That's kind of common etiquette, etiquette anyway, anyway, isn't it? It, it might be some, some kind of code of conduct. So some people forget though. Are you saying we have to card this person, Jason? I don't think so. Has their, has their opponent made a mistake, or are you guys actively judging and walking around? We are not actively judging. We are not even judging. No, we're just streaming. I'm judging butt cracks in the room, because they're all over. <laughs> you, you look behind you? Oh. Shots fired. Uh. All right. Uh, that is my turn. Okay. If you want to get back, I mean, you, you, you know where I'll be at the end of March. I do. So, I don't, I'm I old killed one, age. I hold one, you hold more, and I killed more. I killed two. So, to, to rewind huh? uh, the Tau player's I killed two turn, things. I killed the, the tank and the, the sword. riptides are still yeah. kind of close to each other. <clears throat> and I killed, um, uh, I still, I like, killed your commander. would have wanted I killed, to peel uh, them apart just a little bit. Because the demon prince the has killed. a has a oh, fair yeah. shot at charging one and killing it. Kill and I killed more and I get uh, one for big uh, game. Another one. His now, stops might be to keep access. He doesn't have any shield drones left. And I got bonus. If you look at well, between two riptides, there's a pile of shield drones, and if he bumps one away, he's not gonna yeah, get the, the whole benefit bad of keeping those. Have I suppose. Have have both that you play. Yeah, he's that he's that not gonna get shot at very much anymore. He's yeah. Kill me. Kill me. I agree with you. I'm just trying to explain what his possible motivation is. Right, and he's got a character standing up on top of one of those crates, doesn't he? That that I would have pulled that guy back down off of there. Uh, the score is eight to ten. Okay. Eight to ten. Uh, Nurgle holding the ten points. <clears throat> See if the demon prince can get in the thick of anything this turn. I mean, he almost has enough movement to get on top of those crates, doesn't he? he I he think he does. Standards. Pretty easy. For the greater good is a bitch in Overwatch. I think uh, a Nurgle demon prince, if he's got the plate on him, should do just fine, but... Uh <clears throat> uh.
He's gonna be underneath there. What's the what's the movement? Seven. Oh gosh. I mean, you still can't overwatch, but you can't see. So. Why is it so fast? Are they supposed, to be, are they supposed to be like nodding and stuff? Yeah, they're the the scrummager. That's what he does. <laughs> Tell these characters haven't done a damn thing this game. That's what they do. Fast and they they look menacing. <laughs> Yay, oh. Zerbies. I only want to give you one Overwatch. <laughs> and uh, what about those goobers? I, I'm, I'm they a coming, they coming with? No. I have, they're a one unit, so. And again, they're on the bottom level. Hey. Alright. Alright. This guy here is going to advance. <coughs> he got 13. The, the bottom level there. Right, Tau Tau, so PBC to take over. Overwatch, possibly. This is the top two levels when we just touch the side, somebody we move underneath them. We can do what now? Yeah, this this, this level too, so I'm going to the bottom level. Okay. The three-story building. There we go. Just touch to the side, because I'm going to be moving my guys in there. there you go. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. <coughs> They're going to advance. Taking off my board here. <coughs> 14 inches. I was actually hoping you'd kill more so I could pull more, but I had the icon in the back. That was the problem. So I really couldn't do that. So. <coughs> and unfortunately, I gotta wait till next turn because you can still shoot me. <laughs> because you didn't, you, I had him too stra trailed out, you know? Too trailed out. Yeah. Put it back where it was. Yeah. Oh, uh, these guys. I don't need that. No, I placed this one. That's the objective I placed. Either way, I held it. These guys don't need to hold this. I'm going to hold more no matter what I fucking do. These guys are moving the fuck back. Advance. All right. So I got five. So that's <coughs> ten inches. So they're going to go. They're going to wrap around and go into the building. They can't go through the walls any anymore, so they just wrap around. I don't okay. need to hold that objective. I hold enough. Demon Prince has got to get placed somewhere. He has 13 inch move now from Epidemius. Yeah, this is one of the dangers of feeling like you're winning. Is you, you start to think like, oh, I don't have to move a thing. You should continue to press <coughs> all your advantages. Is that within eight inches? Um, he is just out. Just out. Okay. Then I do about that. Is that like maybe a tenth of an inch? All right. I'm gonna start the psychic phase. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna my ass with him. Give him negative one to hit. Is up on six. <coughs> I'm gonna shoot vitality on him. Putrefied vitality. He's a six. I need to roll one more. So I'm gonna. Now is that specifically negative one to hit in the shooting phase? It is negative one in every phase. Can I key that one? Okay. All right. Yep. I have just, a card. Uh, just out of curiosity. Yep. Yeah. So and there's is, my Azure Tesla. This is the one I just got off the first one. They blessing. don't. They've already cast every play. every single army in order to be um, viable has got to have some way of interacting in the psychic phase. Um, 
even if like like even if Tau had stratagem or or something like that that allowed them to shoot psychers, like um, that would help. Crew still have snipers. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure that's sufficient. I was, I was being sarcastic. Oh, so gotcha. Yeah, like it, the old the old Tyranid rule, right? Was uh, what shoot the big ones first? So they had a, an interesting rule, like you had to shoot the the closest mid unit, but then uh, then guard guard had the ability to ignore that and and try to shoot the the big ones, right? How many would you like think? Think or so? Got one left. Yeah, we're gonna shoot the the Daka tank at it. Uh, the, right, the so it's starting your shooting phase. Yep. So this thing right here. Yep. And, uh, and tell she is within 18 inches some version of a of like, my not necessarily universal rule. So but I'm going to use my last two command that, points and uh, um, that that says that they can just shoot psychers whenever they see them. <laughs> so I hit. I'll now hit on five. Yeah, mine specifically affects the shooting phase. <laughs> yeah, mine does too. So basically, instead of hitting on sixes now, I'll hit on uh, uh, fives. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. <coughs> I'll, I'll keep it. All right. All right. In that case, or, uh, we'll they, could, they could get intercept on psychers. If a psyker tries to cast a spell within a certain range of a Tau unit, the Tau can just snap some shots off at him. No. <coughs> he survived. That sounds like a really good idea. Behind him. You should, you should play okay. test that. <laughs> yeah. I think that should be recommended, or if it's already not, you know, published. I don't, I don't write rules. The tanks cannot the see the drones. Get sent to me. It's okay. Can't see the drones. I just wanted to feel special because I know somebody in the secret squirrel club for a little bit. Yeah, I would definitely agree with Brian on this one. I mean, as being a playtester, you see all these rules beforehand, so I mean, you might not be coming up with all the rules. You know, you, you might be sprinkling some real, real, real stuff that might be released, right? Right, Brian? I don't know. I think Jason's pretty pretty measured. He's probably keeping it close to his chest. He's a jiu-jitsu guy, too, so... He plays the long game. Are the rest two one, or what's, all name one? What's the strength? Uh, it's not too right long, now. though, because I'm old and I get tired. Ditto, man. I'm old and fat, so I get tired faster. So it's all negative one. So you get your three of armor, I think. Or are you gonna direct it to your drone? I'm thinking real quick. Um, I'm definitely gonna put the, the the bigger wound one. I'm gonna put that on a drone. Uh, first one. All right. Uh, oh, goes to him. It goes to him. So three up. So he's gonna get uh three ups. He loves it. Um, so that one's gone. And then Seven. drone goes on a drone. Drone, drone dies. dies. Uh, next one, drone. Drone loves it. Uh, drone dies. Okay. Next one, so. drone. Drone lives. So I've lost two drones so mm -hmm. far. Uh, okay. Next one, uh, he drone's takes it. I was going to be confused so about what he was doing because I thought that many... once you start assigning wounds to drones, oh, he takes drones one. have to take the the whole thing, the whole set. Uh, four left. That was the. It could possibly be like the Grot Shields so, rule where you have to roll a two up. <clears throat> uh, I'm just going to quick roll these. Right, but once you try to do that, don't you have to keep doing it? I don't think so. I think you get to choose every instance. Oh, that's, that's nice. Because uh, my buddy Matt, I, when I played him, he's been like, uh, I'll take that on the Riptide, two on the drones. And at one point in time, I think I asked him to show me, but... For Fidemia, three hits? Get out of here! Dude, twos. Sounds, Sounds like, like you just didn't really care at that point. Yeah, after that point. Like, whatever, dude. Just do you. I mean, it's not like the guy was beating you, so... <laughs> <laughs> so, how's the weather up there in, uh... What, is it Chicago? Are you in Chicago? No, I'm in Milwaukee. 
Wow. That's a long way away from Adepticon. No, it's not. It's, uh, well, I mean, Adepticon's in Schaumburg. It's actually like an hour 15 from, from uh, door to door for me. It's in a pretty good spot. But the tally's at six. You've lost six units from Nurgle. Why is the uh, clock still on my time? Did you hit it? Well, I'm not using the clock anyway, so. <laughs> uh, and the weather up here is fine. It's uh, it's March, and it's still cold out. And there's <laughs> lots of snow. <clears throat> Demon Prince is out of the way, so I don't get to reroll those. Here in Arkansas, it's uh, cold and rainy. We had uh, encounters of uh, pea-sized hail. Yep. It's kind of crazy. Nice. So apparently Charles in the chat says uh, Duncan got permission today. Sweet. So Death Guard versus Clowns. Big three. Okay, that's six damage. I'll bet you she gets. How many wounds you got left? You just got six left. Okay. I can live with that. <coughs> All right. Jeez. I. Oh no. No, you're too close. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> All hit. No penalty. Right. No net minus one. Right. All right. Strength four. What's the toughness? Uh, three. Three. All right. So you get make five saves. What's the strength? It's strength four. Strength four, okay. Five. Uh, He's playing beautiful screams. And he got him. He did. I wanted Nurgle to kill him, but uh, it couldn't happen. Alrighty then. Uh, let's go ahead and do some assaults. What do you say? Sounds like a good idea. Now what? <coughs> that is, is covered is, now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so Demon covered. Prince is going to go and assault uh, over there. I wish I had like marbles. Over here? Yep. Right. I'm going to declare for the I greater wish I good. Get marble over there. No. Nope. Both of these guys. Yep. In here. So. Now, does that let you shoot things that are the characters that are further away? Um, have closer targets. We still have the character rule. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how I'm seeing well, that aside from another Riptide to the Demon Prince, but... No, it's a shooting thing. It's Overwatch. Uh, can we just get a judge Yeah, quick? sure. Judge? I don't know how that will. Judge? You're not going to get a judge with that tone of voice. Can you see it? And, uh, I don't and see anybody. He's claiming character protection in the assault phase? Let's pause it. Uh, does the four of the greater good actually care about character rules? Question mark? Mm, no, it's the assault phase. You don't get the character. It's the charge phase, actually. Yeah, charge phase. Yes. Yeah. This is the Overwatch. So oh, these two are, are shooting here. Right. Um, Jason, how would you rule that? I say get the fuck out of here. Yeah, go get a real judge. Cause uh, that's uh, that's not a thing. We we fire Overwatch. The the character rules not a thing. <coughs> All right. So what, does it say? what it says is, when an enemy unit declares a charge, a unit with this ability within six yeah. inches of the charging unit's targets may fire Overwatch as if they were also charging. So it is right. just Overwatch. Okay. But I mean, I'm, from where I'm sitting and looking at your camera view. All right. It, it, it is just like you charged him, too. All right. <clears throat> and you can see him? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I've got... 
Or you saying Lover? Yeah, little shield. Oh, bits. interesting. I mean, so I, I guess the guy, the technicality would be like, yeah. is Overwatch treated as a firing, as a as a shooting phase right, attack? And shoot smart um, at him. And it is not. It is it is treated as yeah, an additional Overwatch. Him. Okay. So, so the guy wasn't one, claiming two, that uh, that he had protection three, from the character rule. He was saying he had he had character protection from that the second guy firing Overwatch because his understanding uh, might have been that it there. was treated as it's a shooting missile, attack. Minus one. Okay, three of armor. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's exactly, exactly right. right. What I was thinking as well. And if Overwatch is a separate phase, which it is, I mean, inside the shooting phase, but uh, that's exactly what I was thinking. It's good to know that uh, we're on the same page. All right, right on. <clears throat> then all the big guns, all 36. And he saved all those? No, I, I took a wound. Oh, I took a wound. So, these two, this guy, 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 uh, I don't see any more. <coughs> okay, seven toughness. Alright, so I need, uh, five, fives. Mm -hmm. And a six, sir. Six. What's the AP? Uh, minus two. I see. So I have a two up save, so I have to go four up. Uh, I'll go ahead and does it do two damage? Two damage each. I'll go ahead and spin my reroll here. So I take one. Is that a command point? Damage. Yeah, I use it. You already regained. Oh one. yeah, I already gained the one this round. And I take one. Look at those two. Charge. <coughs> four inches. You're in. So. Uh, would you like to go anywhere specific? Yeah, I'm going to go right there so I can just do one inch away, then pile okay. in your troops. All right. <coughs> uh, let's go ahead and see. That unit over here. I'm going to declare a charge. You got an Overwatch over here? Uh, what are you charging? I'm going to charge this unit up here because I need to get up there and, and mess okay. that in. That is, and we'll go ahead and use the crew. That's already <coughs> tied up, so you can't Overwatch that again, right? Uh, he can't overwatch again. No, he cannot. Okay. Uh, Once you use for the greater good, yeah, you, you so can't I, overwatch. I can assault the crew. It's not going to affect anything else. All right. So you're gonna you're gonna assault the crew. Crew and the this and, the, and those are, Okay. Yeah. All right. These are two characters. Two characters. On the, okay. Assault both of them. Okay. Uh, so everybody's gonna shoot. Um, he's gonna get uh, uh, four shots because of contra fire blade. He's gonna get three shots because he is a fire blade. These are all gonna get three shots because they're fire blade, but they're all Basically the same. These guys hit on two ups, so four, seven. I'm gonna do the two up, uh, or not two ups. They're all the same actually, cause fucking Overwatch. So um, four, three. Do you have to see the target four. to do uh, to fire the to do uh, to do uh, what's it called? Greater good. Yes. Okay. But uh, I done Absolutely. all sorts of. <laughs> so fifteen, nineteen, twenty. 22 shots. 22 shots is a lot. So he, oh yeah, so he advanced, uh, <coughs> advanced the guys on the right hand side into the building, so he's not getting an assault off of them. Um, and I'm assuming the playbus crawler is going to. You got two, uh, two pulse pistols from the marksman. Are these the ones that hit on twos? Are these the ones hey, that Charles, on... you yeah, they, they all just five that in English? Okay. I would be happy to answer that right. for you. That's a lot of five sixes. It is. Okay, my toughness now is five, so you wouldn't be on fours. Yep, fours. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six wounds. <coughs> and then, uh, new pile. Recruit are gonna Overwatch. Huh? Recruit are gonna Overwatch. So yeah. two, four, six, eight, and twelve. Yeah, a turn or so ago, the top player said he wasn't too worried about the block. So Jason, I believe, agreed. Which 
been pretty loose as far as uh, four hits. Two wounds. Uh, remember, I'm five toughness. One wound. I got one. Good. I didn't get one. <laughs> Alright. Plus one to the charge. So you'll get eight inches. Okay. These guys up here can get right there. Charge. There. 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 <coughs> Yeah, there's there's not there's not much left that the tell player can really do. These guys are um, going over here. I don't know. Like I get unless he gets lucky in this close combat phase with his riptides. So it's like it's actually like eleven inches, right? Yeah. After consolidate. Yeah. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. Because I I'm eyeballing it, so if, I, if Moss is going no, to it, it, I'm not trying to tease it. I'm Tal. I don't know if you know this. Yeah. But we're not exactly ready to close combat. <sighs> so yeah. I think I think we know what's about to like happen. Turn, it's like turn four. I still haven't gotten to close combat. We know. We know I, what's. I'd be real careful about it because Tal is nasty. Uh, no, right, you you going... stopped him at commander. All right. You got your treat. That, that, that was that You was, got your that treat. Was dumb. That was dumb. <laughs> that was dumb. That was dumb. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to go to swing with uh, over here first. Yeah. All right. What are you swinging Muscle? at? Okay, uh, we're going to swing. Well, there's two characters I can swing at. So, how many guys can swing on the two characters? The only thing I can uh, And then we'll do the crew for that. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, these two guys can only swing at the Cod Fire Blade. So the uh, he can swing at either time. one. He can swing at either one. Uh, these two can swing at either one. Which one is the five round GT? No. So this is, uh, one of those are round will be top eight. Uh, no. Which one's more expensive? Uh, they're actually the exact same price. All right, like all right. 142, 145. We'll split them out. So uh, there's, you said there's six that I can swing? Yeah, one hour Yeah, six that can swing, and so they're, uh, they're most of them can hit him. We're gonna be all right, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go three on each. All right. All right. <clears throat> the sergeant's up there. He's going on the one on this side, because that's where he is. Dark Strider. Okay. All right. So here we go. Here's the three on that side. They're going to pop their banner, so they do two damage apiece. Okay. Uh, all three hit. Uh... All three wound, uh, three uh, normal armor saves, they each do two damage. That's the one over here. Okay. So it takes four damage. It takes four. He's That's got one wound left. Oh, he's got five? He has five. Oh. Cool. Uh, All right, and here's the, the one swinging on the other guy. <coughs> We're rolling for two hits. And strength five. Toughness three. Yeah, three's not going to do it. There we go. So we got two saves on the other guy. And these are also two damage each? Yep. So he's only got five up armor. So he takes four. Yep. He's got one wound left. Now I'm going to go ahead and go here. Well, consolidate. Oh, I got to wait for some <coughs> first. Okay. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many is over there? Any over there? Uh, One more. One more. So 11. Oh, duh! Hold on, I got more up there. I forgot the tally. So I got, I got uh, three more attacks on the guy with one wound because they have two attacks apiece now. Two hits and two wounds. Uh, uh, go over here. On this side. Did you here. guys hear me about the plague burst crawler on the rift? Uh, he takes one more. He didn't charge it. Okay. And here we go. The uh, I did three more attacks on the other guy. One more hit. One more wound. You die too, because you only have five, right? Correct. Now I have ten guys there on the bottom, you said. Yep. Um, you mean these guys right here? Oh, no, on the crew. Oh, yeah. Guys yeah. On the crew. Yes. You have to be within an inch, right? Within an inch of a guy with an inch. All right. So, yeah. Everybody. <coughs> here we go. 20 attacks. Sit on fours, because my scrimmager is AWOL. Jason, your mic is doing weird stuff. <coughs> yeah, that's me. I'm adjusting. <coughs> Minus this? Nope. Get your, get your what, five or six up? Baby. 
Yeah, six up. Paper mache, man. Yep. Flipper. Yeah, I saved a couple. Uh, not enough, but Hello. I saved a couple. So like one, two, three, right. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine die. I don't think I have that many left. That's four. Uh, yeah, they're dead. Uh, these guys can <clears throat> You have killed four units so far. Two of those being headhunters. <clears throat> And these guys are going to pile in, of course, to your troop there to hold it. Yep. So, I, I know the Death Guard player is, is looking like he's winning the game. I, I still go back to what I said out. earlier, which is that he uh, no, I cannot move. push okay. this left side right here. Uh, earlier in the game, he should have shot his, his player's crawlers on this side and okay. assaulted faster. The only, the only because thing I can do then instead of sticking his demon I prints out here, he would have off, been able to soak and Overwatch then him and stuff off, with, uh, and then move back. With these guys that are tied up over here. Here we go. Eight attacks hitting on your monster. No, this is with the uh, shooting. I'm not saying he should have advanced like differently than he did. Everything should have just been moving if forward just like he did. It's just the uh, shooting should have been over there. No, not For those that are watching the stream, right, there's about a 10 to 15 second delay between what you see on video and uh, Jason and us talking. So there might seem a little bit like you're uh, getting a whole kung fu dub feeling watching the chat, but uh, it makes sense to me if you pay attention. <clears throat> That's so you guys can bleep me, right? So all these fives and sixes all do. Four damage and a mortal wound. I would agree with that. <laughs> the four scary ones. Invulse. Yep, Invulse. Uh, two of them go through. And how much damage do they do? You take four mortal wounds first, and then you take an additional uh, 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 four, uh, four damage apiece. So you take eight damage plus the twelve. He's dead. Let me see if there's anything We're I can do uh, with my only command point. I think the Flake Burst Crawler might have been there. <sighs> Just theory. Uh, not uh, wanting that Demon Prince to get shot. And they can blow up, but I don't think it's worth it. Um, They'll go ahead and pile into there. It's a Nurgle Demon Prince. And then the, the pile-in move would be a, a technicality where I would ask him to measure to the nearest unit because he might be pulled away if he chooses to pile in. It's a small thing. It's only worth a couple inches, but still. Hit on fives. Two hits on um, sixes. Uh, one wound. Okay. And I got two headhunters there. And plus uh, three headhunters. So I maxed out headhunter there. Uh what what was your third character? Oh uh, that that suit? He's not a character. He's not a suit? He's not a, He's character? Not a character. No. Wow. You I, I have got you at three headhunters and you killed four units total. Okay. And that was my my second recon. Yeah. What do you have to you hold, Jason? Uh I hold I hold all of these. One objective. Huh? I hold you hold uh, that objective, and I hold yeah, this hold, objective, and I hold this objective. Yeah, so, so three. Yeah, you hold so three I hold, objectives. I get the bonus, too, because I hold this one, and I hold that one. Okay. Okay, girl, what's the score? Uh, one, two, three. And your bottom turn. I misspoke earlier on the... Turn 
What's the final? What's the score now at the top of three? Do we have Jason's updated score? Yeah, it's uh, uh, sixteen. I don't know to really eight. what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna try to kill some things, I guess. Uh, what is his armor set? He has a two up armor, strength eight, toughness eight. He has a five up, he's vulnerable. Give him a hand to hand now, it drops to a four up, so feel free to run over there and, and assault him in a hand to hand. <laughs> Alright, uh. I hear those crisis suits aren't that bad so, in hand to hand. Um, At the beginning of my turn, take the rift tide I'm gonna declare and put it into the demon prince. Um, the broadsides can slow shoot. The plague burst crawler looks like a decent target as well. So, that's what you guys. Or not twice, but uh, re roll six. Um, oh, I have to do leadership. Hey, Ben Krell. Yes, the, uh, the lists are in uh, BCP. We can actually show them to you right now. Give us a second. We'll go through this real quick. Because technology. <clears throat> Didn't I kill two over here? Uh, these are the blue spots. Oh, yeah, they're over there. You're right. All right. So. Shoot them. Using our BCP Premium Player app, we got uh, Michael's list right here. And the moment, uh, or the cool thing is, he brought crew. So, brought ten crew. Zoom him over here. Hey, you're gonna assault. He's gonna get the bigger gun. Uh, he's just gonna go to nine. Okay. I don't have any more command points. Uh, so now let's see. I don't know what I want to do with this. Uh. I think that is my main. Sorry, guys, we had some technical uh, difficulties. Had to get uh, some batteries. Uh, he is going to use the second page of Matt's list. So, anybody that rolls a six to wound uh, improves the AP by one. So. Hello. Uh, oh, all right. That is a lot better. Uh, Good. Change the batteries. Wow, well, man, you, you sound like you're sitting in the room with me now. <laughs> all right, we'll take a look at. Uh, Jason's list real quick. So, I know we were talking about this earlier, but it was interesting to see that Jason used the Plague Burst Crawlers as kind of a lineman and just charge up the board, soaking lots of wounds, being a threat. And, uh, you know, the, the interesting thing is he's got Epidemus just back there to sit on an objective. So with Tal not having a deep strike threat other than a uh, cold star, and that already being gone, he can pretty much just use Nerdlings and Epidemus to uh, stay on the objectives on his own end of the board. Makes it pretty awesome. It does. Yeah, the, the Death Guard book is, is a well-rounded book, right? It's pretty cool. I agree. You know, that Leviathan still being there added that much needed additional punch of firepower to at least be able to whittle some things down. Well, it serves as a distraction, too. Really, the, the Plague Burst Crawlers are going to do way more work over the course of the game um, than the Leviathan is. Um, but, you know, then you get to late game, and you're like, oh, I'm looking for something to shoot. And if you make the mistake of targeting uh, a Leviathan that you haven't started to whittle down early on in the game, you're not going to get it in one turn. Yeah. Which is pretty much happened. Thank you. 
So five still do it though. Okay. So three. <coughs> uh, five at uh, minus two and uh, one at uh, negative three. Right. Here's the five. Five go through and one does. What's the other one do? Uh, one at negative three. All right, that one's good. So how much damage piece? D three. D three each. So five. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wounds. Toughness nine didn't save me. Four, five, six, five. That kills me. Five, it five. explodes. No. Do you want to use that uh, auto no, explode? Okay. <laughs> okay. He needed those. You got your big game, Hunter. <laughs> did, did you say those right. guys are um, evil? No, he needed them earlier. Oh, okay. That was a, that was a decent roll. Oh. I was like, are we going to get the red cards on, them on the stream? Below us? <laughs> Negative one hit the guys below, no penalty to the dread. Alright, smart missiles below? Miss. 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 I cannot reroll these because these would normally have hit. <clears throat> and this doesn't hit. Three five, so you need fours. Five. Minus one. <clears throat> okay. This guy dies, and two more in the building. If you want to lift it up and give me two of the ones in the building. Uh, can we just like keep a count somewhere? I don't. I just don't want to move fine. anything. All right, so there's two dead. Yeah, two in there. Uh, two more dead. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, uh, big missiles in your uh, dreadnought. Toughness eight. You didn't get the plus point toughness. I'll do this hit. The three. He doesn't get the plus one toughest because he'd be a T9 model walking around the board. Three? Neg two? Uh, neg two, yes. Right, so <coughs> three up? No, four up. Four up. Good, good, good. Fine. Fine. Uh, that's pretty funny, Tao Tao. I can't even. Crew can can move. Um, and she can't see anybody, so whatever. <coughs> so for our Tau players in there, right. uh, uh, this guy is gonna fire him. What's, what's your favorite your units to run? Plus one to hit because you're a flyer. With all the guns or just one? All guns. Okay. So I'm gonna fire all the bullets. Plus one, minus one. So. Um, smart missiles. What's the strength of missiles? Five. They don't hit. Oh. Three, six. I'm not really sure. Like, I think the guy's got what ten, maybe twelve. Um, uh, pox walkers. Right, big uh, gun. In the building right there. He he uh, should have shot everything at them. I tried to. Can you grab all the. That's not terrible. No. Drink. Six. Three, five. He would have been able to at least put one of the units of broadsides into him, right? Four. Because there were a couple that were still <clears throat> inside the building. What's the AP? Uh, AP minus uh, two. So I can see them. Two, so four. Uh, it does multiple damage, right? Two damage each. Might as well have three roll. Nope. Oh. So and that was a two. command point? I don't get it. Alright, and I take two. So put me to four wounds. Yeah. Alright, uh, these two marker lights, they're both gonna just fire into the dreadnought. Should have done that first. Uh, reroll Cecilia. Both hit. So he's got two marker lights on him. Not really gonna matter that much. Uh, 
All the fire warriors are gonna fire into that squad. Into this. Into the yeah the dreadnought. Right. Um, nobody's in the rapid fire, so it's gonna be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen shots. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen shots. Fourteen shots. Fourteen shots. Reroll hits. Fuck. You should get to reroll one. You don't get to reroll all hits. No, I get to reroll all hits because Kyle Young. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's from over there. Huh? Yep, that's right. Okay, toughness eight. So you need fives. Uh, three. Three. And two of them are at AP minus one. Two at, eight, two at AP one. Two at AP one and one at regular. All right. So these get a three up. We're good. And this is two up. Good. Fine. All right. Um, are you done? Uh, uh, fire blade are, is the other uh, yes, they are playing wobbly model. So if your base can fit there, you definitely can assault. Makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Um, Josh Stewart. Okay. Pot shot here. Hit. Nothing. Uh, go. You gonna assault? If you don't assault, I'm gonna heroic intervene because you're within three inches, and you don't get Overwatch. So you're gonna you're gonna heroic. I'm gonna heroic I, intervene. I thought you could only do that to characters. <laughs> no, it, characters oh, can only characters do it. can only do it. Yeah. So you pulled in close to me. I'm gonna. So you're gonna uh... you're either get assaulted or get assaulted, and you don't get Overwatch. That was a big big mistake. <clears throat> yeah. Same here, Ben Crow. I actually play a uh, orc army with about 150 orc boys. I'm gonna sell them. It's really nice. Smart. <clears throat> well, hey, Spock. Yeah, it's it, this is an unfortunate mistake. Uh, I'm trying to get as far away as I can. Sure, you got it. All right, <laughs> I get four attacks. Why do you say that, Jason? Because they got over 20. Plays. Well, so now the Riptide was forced Tipsy. to assault away from the Demon Prince because he he got within <laughs> three inches. <laughs> He should have been three and a half inches away. Um, he he misunderstood the heroic intervention rule. You're right again. I swing huh? first, right? So yeah, that's very right. true. So, very nice of uh, his opponent. Six. Explaining it to him. I mean, he didn't explain it until it was like yeah, no. <laughs> he didn't explain it when he was moving him. He was like, "Hey, are you sure you want to be within three inches of me?" But one hit and no. Uh, yeah. All right, so I got. Six guys there can swim that unit. Yep. <clears throat> Worth the sergeant. Thanks to Epidemius. And you leaving him alone, like I asked you to. Just double tap. You're rolling one. And this is Epidemius? No, this guy. Epidemius. Oh, Epidemius right there. Yeah, that's right. I sat him down and said, just ignore him. And you did. You're so kind. Okay, and their toughness. Right, yeah, two's on there. And I mean, we're we're well past the one wound phase. Piece, so I'm you have no feel no pain or anything, right? Not bring nope. on his crew character. Eight wounds. Some do multiple damage, but eight wounds. You know, I don't eight. believe so. Yep. Uh, that's and unfortunate. Too. Cold star thing. Free kill. Four save, four die. Yep, looks like it. So I got one guy left. Right. And let's say I got. Four guys can swear in your cold star? Uh, yep. <clears throat> Born a riptide. Yeah, I agree, Ben Crawl. Good thing we're having lunch. Right, so I'm gonna go get some Chinese food. T7. Yep. The two. Fine. Good. Two plus armor. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think I'm gonna do anything. I'm gonna go on pot. If you want. I'm having to. beef barbacoa. Mmm, that ah! sounds good. Sorry. Ah! They're piling into the next character. Literally. <laughs> Alright. My turn. 
Uh, leadership team has killed four. Uh, they lose one more, so three from their squad gone. Sadness. Uh, this guy's going to move here. Yeah, do you guys feel like the uh, Tau Pillar has a uh, tilted? He's going to advance. Uh, that is, he has eight plus 12 inches. There. Uh, this girl is going to go seven inches that way. He hasn't got a scrimmager, so he just goes six. And swarms, uh, they can still hold objectives, right? Yeah. That's the whole point of them, man. Uh, Nerlys really are the best objective They're holders so in the game. They're so weird. <coughs> These guys are going to come up here. And well, one of the yeah, just barely hold that advantages, but like if you're them. if you're looking to learn how to play 40k, one of the things that Tal will teach you is is Nothing target matters, selection, target priority, priority uh, right? Um, and you can't uh, make phase. mistakes. You can't make any mistakes. Uh, oh, demon prince. Um, and I think the Tal player made a couple of key mistakes earlier on with his target selection. Um, and Against some armies, you might be able to recover. Against Death Guard, you know, obviously is one you won't be able to recover from. Well, I'm being so resilient, once uh, Nurgle and Death Guard are in your wire as a Tau player, they're not going away. Right, exactly. I don't see him needing that. My eyes are on the troops inside the building. Do you have to have line of sight? Uh, you have the card. You check on there. Why are you re going to go and cast this? I keep playing. It goes off if it's allowed. If not... Visible friendly unit. Visible friendly? Okay. He's going to do a cast on the dress. Okay. Alright. <coughs> shooting. So... Is, that within eight, is he within 8 inches of your fire warriors? Two. The dreadnought. He's just out. Never can get that flamer. Is it like exactly 10? Okay. Two units of fire warriors up there. Shoot yeah. them both. Here's the first I have, one. I have one here. Uh, I have uh, four remaining here and then five men here. Alright, you know what? We're going to shoot, we're gonna shoot uh, all of it into your... Uh, your um, so it's Tau versus Death Guard. Uh, so it's actually, really uh, Nurgle. In the back. And uh, <laughs> right now, the uh, Jason, who's playing Nurgle the top of your screen and we have Michael playing Tau. Okay, strength eight, need what are the toughness? Uh T six. And threes. So six. Uh, how many wins each? Uh, two wins apiece. Neg one. Drone. It's on a drone. Drone dice. Another dead unit. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five left. Yep. Uh, what's the AP? AP neg one. So it takes take six damage. Six damage. That knocks out one of them. They have six wounds apiece? Yep. <clears throat> All right. Uh, this one right here is going to take a pot shot at... Uh, at... Uh, they have six wounds apiece? Yes. Oh, wait. I forgot to roll Feel No Pain on them. All right. Uh, he passed one. He's alive at one wound. All right. He's going to shoot at that unit. Okay. Probably just going to pick him back up again. Uh, hit. Strength eight. No. Miss. <clears throat> and my other shooting is gone because you killed my tanks. <laughs> oh, all right. I almost uh, killed the Demon Prince. Demon Prince is going to uh, go ahead and uh, uh, Dang it, I reminded assault. you. <laughs> yeah, for those of you uh, just joining us, uh, next stream is going to feature uh, uh, Justin Lewis, Lewis, who is uh, coming off his top eight placing at LVO. And it's actually going to feature a local player, Josh Stewart, with Necrons. And the funny thing is, is... Uh, Necrons are on the top table. All right, and the plague bearers in there. Here's where it's gonna get complicated. I'm gonna assault your ethereal, and the guys up here. 
So you don't get line of sight with anybody but the stupid drony thing. You're gonna shoot. You're gonna assault all of these guys. Uh, yeah, because you're an Overwatch all of them anyway. So. All right. Uh. Only the yeah. things that can't see line of sight. Correct. So, yeah. Yeah. That's one unit. Three. Three. And four. So all these shots. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is all pretty much academic from here out. Um, barring Five absolutely sixes. bizarre dice results. I'm just going to pick out the hits. Well, Bunker, uh, we will show those lists yeah, after it. lunch uh, in our pregame, so uh, that will be exciting to go over, but if you do want to look at uh, Josh Stewart's uh, Necron list, you certainly can. Josh uh, said everybody has permission to copy his list. <coughs> so. Him and uh, Heath are both running a similar list. Uh, I've seen... Cam from the Flying Monkeys uh, run some of the same tools. Uh, absolutely believe Necrons have been overlooked in a lot of ways. Like I said it on the podcast a few times. There's good stuff in there. Uh, everybody just wanted to run Destroyers and call it good like they did in 7th edition. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Alright, so I got plus one of the charge at 10 inches. So I can go where I need to go. Yep. Alright. Yeah, I, I have to agree about the Necron book. There's there's more to it than, uh, I mean, it's not it's Three not drawers, uh, good enough for like the, to the top players to want to invest in it because it's not quite there. But in a skilled and dedicated player's hands, um, it it can get work done. Agreed. I think it's about all I can fit. I can fit one over here. I was, it's funny at LBO. There are a few different players at LBO that you know were matched up against Necrons. And they pretty much dismissed the game. It was interesting to see the reaction when they got beat by Necron. <coughs> yeah, exactly. Um, if you, and I think it's, I think it's been off. similar for it. the past couple of edi uh, editions. Um, I remember in six, the first time I ever saw anybody with Necrons, I, I, uh, I almost lost. Like I was on my back heels, and I was like, "Holy jeez!" And then I started trying to pay attention to what they could and couldn't do. And it was way easier to pick them apart after that. But you can't just like start drinking uh, in the middle of the game or beginning of the game. For there, they're popping their banner. They just gonna be like right here on the edge. Yeah. Cache of Necrons. So uh, we have a friendly league around my store. I might play them a little bit just to see if I can learn a little bit more about them. Cause you got a character there, so. Oh okay, yeah, you already got it. I think you have to get to a critical mass <laughs> well, of them. Like, I, I don't think they're going to play uh, well at different point levels. Like, yeah, I think you have to sit them at 1850 to 2000 um, before you're going to have enough on the board for the synergies to play out. All right. Uh, this does two da uh, three damage. The rest of them do two. So you get your armor right there. Okay. Uh, so five up invault on the big yep. one. He's good. All right, and then you got uh, five to do two. Uh, any AP minuses? No. Here are. All right. So force. Uh, he takes one. All right, takes two damage. Two damage. Two damage. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, I gotta feel no pain those. Okay. Uh, nope. He takes them both. Got. Got three left. Yep. All right, and I got a bunch up here. So uh, we're gonna have. These three swing it on that character. Okay. And one of those is the sergeant. <coughs> right, I'm going to go grab a drink. I'll be right back. No problem. Uh, no, two's not hit. Please don't miss. Right. You guys in chat, yeah, Corn of Shields does uh, really well against the World of Knights. Yeah, we definitely agree with that. You know, reducing, you know, three damage weapons to one is pretty awesome. Uh, any APs? Uh, no. Here, armor. Right. Uh, three up on the big one. Good. On a three. Okay. 
And then I got what, five left? One, yep. two, three, four, five. Uh, four damage. Does that kill him? Nope. He's got five. As well. Got five? Okay. So she's da she's down to one wound. I'm not gonna try to squeeze the dice in there. Okay. Uh, these four are gonna swing on the fire warriors. <clears throat> sure. Oh, look at that fireball roll. Mmm, I love it. So four, all doing two damage. Uh, do you mind if I uh, roll her field of pain real quick for yeah. those four that she lost? Didn't matter. All right, so four you said? Yep. Um, three get through, and you're two damage each? Yep. Uh, got to roll them separate. I got to roll them separate, yeah. Uh, first guy. Uh, passed one, failed one. Next guy. Uh, failed. And up. So three die. Okay. Now I got one, two, three, four. Swing on that. <coughs> Zero. What? No sixes? All right. Uh, all doing two damage. Uh, seven? Seven. Uh, the, I, these actually do three damage, so yeah, it three. Really matter. Uh, all into the fire this, this squad. Yeah, front okay. fire war. Uh, I guess I gotta do them separate, huh? Yep. Uh, the the big ones. Uh, two, pass one, she's got through. Three apiece. And then uh, the other ones. One of those guys. So the uh, two of these you failed, these two <coughs> three. I so. failed a total of three things. Yep, you failed these two and you failed one of those. So big scary one. Dead. Dead. Big scary one. Dead. dead. And then the one of two. Almost. So three dead. Three dead. Looks like more dead town coming right up. Yeah, there's. All right. Surprised you didn't try. It's like uh, Monday Night Football when it's a, a blowout. Like, how do you oh. how do you spend the last 15 minutes talking about the game? Uh, uh, at this point, I'm, I mean, lock, you're locked in combat. You got to get in there. You can just pull John Madden and drink. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's good. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Super Bowl. I didn't get the the. I got the. Uh, the you did not get the blink. I did not get the blink. I did not watch the Super Bowl this year. I did not either. Not fives. It doesn't even matter. So you don't have to worry about all that. Just five. Uh, Nick twos. It's doing two damage. Uh, four ups. Uh, two go through. That's four damage. Four damage? That's so rude! He's down to four wounds. Yep. And go ahead and activate Plague Bearers. We have a barrier there, boy. Barrier blocking me away. Is that yours or mine? All right, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight can. I think it's the same as last time. I don't think I did anything. Two my dice over here. <laughs> <coughs> Eight. 
Here we go. This is to the gold star. Yeah, I totally agree. The Chaos Troopers are pretty awesome because they're so cheap. So you got uh, six armor saves to make. All doing one damage. It doesn't. Now I have... Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to put three onto your character and two onto the squad. And one of the ones of the squad is going to be the, the champion. So... Here is to the squad. Right. Two on your fire warriors. Uh, he did. <clears throat> and uh, and four on th your this part of the game here, when everything is melee, is one of the reasons why I'm glad that uh, 40k is is slanted towards shooting because there's nothing interesting Bears, talking dude. about like uh, what what like target selection with your close combat attacks. You swing at the most important thing you can that's next to you. Um, Yeah, that's, that's very true. It's a good point. But we do have a camera that can zoom in on all the action. Yeah, yeah it doesn't it doesn't matter. I mean, the, the guy's counting the number of attacks he has available to him. He's allocating them to you know whatever he's got, and then just rolling dice and see if you're making saves. Um, you know, the maneuvering to get into uh, into assaults uh, is interesting. Like especially when you're trying to cut an angle on something so that you can consolidate into something else. But once you're actually stuck in it, um, it's uh. It's rather blah. How dare you call close combat boring? I love close close on close combat. I mean, you personally, as the general of your army, might enjoy it, but <laughs> spectating it is uh, is rather blah. It's like here we are. Uh, I would definitely agree with that, but I love close combat. You can tie things up. I, I guess I don't see the dynamic being different between watching someone shoot somebody off the board. You're basically pointing at a unit, rolling dice, and then someone picks up models. It, it's nearly the same thing as from a visual standpoint. I think that the difference is that by the like you have you have more opportunities to make a mistake with your target selection with shooting than you do with uh, with assault. I mean, you're you're kind of limited. You have to assault the things that are near you, and so unless you've made gross misjudgments in deployment or your your first turn movement what you're assaulting is kind of obvious to everybody you know uh, as long as you've lined up correctly across the table from it but when you have shooting in 36 48 inches uh, range you can make mistakes and shoot at stuff you shouldn't be shooting at but i'm not sure how that translates visually to being more exciting though well visually it's it's not the excitement comes from the opportunity to make mistakes. Like th these guys are stuck in; they're just gonna swing until like it's over. That's it. And if it was a mistake for him to have gone into that close combat, um, then you know it'll become evident. For, I mean, the the Riptide being forced to choose between kind of you know getting heroically intervened for for nothing, or charge into a combat he really didn't want to be in, that was exciting, I guess, interesting. But that was a that was a movement fault, not an uh, assault fault. This is way past. I just think there's a uh, as far as depth, as far as, four, as, four, as four, strategy, four, as far as like, any uh, any time that I any, any of my movement I think, phases, uh, I can put him out. I think close combat and assaults are are more tricky than shooting. I I just think. Uh, you know, most people know some semblance of target priority or what they should be shooting at. But a lot of people, once they get into that close combat or that assault range, uh, they don't know, you know, the, the slicker details of, you know, piling in to a vehicle, allowing it not to shoot, you know, piling into another unit to tie it up, forcing it to fall back, uh, you know, heroic interventions, you know, not being paid attention to or calculated for. I, I just think there's a lot of layers when you understand the assault phase that aren't necessarily as sophisticated as, okay, I'm going to roll a bucket of dice at that unit, pick it up, thank you. 
Right, but that's all set up in the movement phase, uh, and it's not it's not the rolling buckets of dice phase. It's the movement phase, um, and then the consolidation part. Uh, those things are interesting. I agree, but the rolling buckets of dice while you're just standing next to a guy—I don't know, whatever. I think they're all equally exciting to watch. If if it's a good game, this one is not blowing wind up my skirt. Uh, right now, the uh, they're having a rules discussion on whether he can bring his warlord in turn four using a stratagem, I believe, or I think an ability. All right, so I could have a unit of broadsides do seppuku and jump off the building, but then they wouldn't be able to shoot. So was there a judge ruling? Uh, they're just gonna sit in here and. Uh, there was, and he walked off. I can get that uh, ruling here in a little bit. I don't know if it really matters. All the business. I sound sound terrible saying that. I mean, I feel like I'm a bad child caster when I say, "Does it matter?" <laughs> For the 17 viewers still watching it, huh? Yeah. Thank you. And there's, there's 21 by my count. So. Is there? Okay. Uh, that works for me. Hey, Vincral, I do think the you saying the exciting part of CC is the amount of setup needed to be effective, having to get rid of screens, but maybe not completely so that you don't get stuck in and slingshot. CC is insanely complicated. I agree. I actually read an article about try pointing because I've heard that term, which is basically where you have a model that you want to assault, and if you put your unit's on three sides, it can't move, so it locks you up. I did this the other day at RTT um, with my Mega Knobs. I basically made sure that only one of them could, one Mega Knob could uh, actually attack a, or what's the Admech Walkers? The Admech Walkers? Which ones? Oh, uh, the Doom Crawlers. Excuse Doom me. Crawlers? Yeah. So I can only attack with one of the Mega Knobs on the Doom Crawler. And then I can I, I consolidated it I consolidated my Mega Knob so that only uh, they could move and everything could be locked on combat for the next turn his my opponent's player turn and I finished it off and was able to assault again so it is definitely complicated you have to I think it's a it's just more complicated for the assault phase than it is just hey I'm gonna shoot my nine wyvern and nine vascals at you. And uh, just roll bucket is, buckets of dice. Take that, Jason. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> That's the most I've heard about heard out of Jason as far as the game's concerned this weekend. Jason Horn, anyways. That's good. Got him excited. Yeah. I'm really tired, so. We all we all know Jason Lippert's capable of waxing poetic on the stream. Yeah, and it, you know, in a game like this where you're, you're not, uh, there's not really much necessity for for try pointing or or anything. Like there was an opportunity earlier on, right, with the Cold Star. And that's one of those things where you're playing you're playing an army that doesn't have a lot of uh, melee capacity whatsoever. You're gonna throw your Cold Star out in front, and you're gonna hope to blow up, you know, or take out one of the Plague Rush Crawlers. But when that doesn't happen, instead of saying, you know what, I'm dead anyway, and he was dead. Um, so I'm going to get something out of this. I'm going to at least tie up one of these. And the fact that he shot the middle one, he lit up with marker lights the middle one, which would complicate his ability to uh, tie up both of them in close combat. To charge one, right, take the overwatch from one of them, hopefully survive that, but then he will consolidate into both of them. That's a that's a, a layer of the game that he, he a Tau player is not going to have a lot of experience with. They're and, and why would they? But that's the kind of stuff that they have to do. Like, if they have one unit that they're going to constantly, consistently throw out in front of their whole army, they need to be able to maximize its efficiency. I'm just not a fan of broadsides. I think uh, for what a Riptide does versus what a broadside does, I'd rather another Riptide. I also think one Cold Star... <laughs> 
Hey, is it going to blow up Plague vs. Crawlers? I'm not sure what Math Hammer backs me up on that, but it's uh, the odds of that happening just don't seem very high to me. How many fusion shots do they get? Not sure. That's a good question for our uh, chat. In if you play Tau, let us know how many fusion shots they get. Cold Star. One damage. Gonna roll the nine. Yeah. And then how many wounds does a, a play burst crawler have? What, 12? 11? 12? More? No, I have uh, one, two, four, five. Wait, on that character? <coughs> Yeah, that, that sounds, sounds about right. So, Tower of Tau says they have four fusion blaster shots. So, four is hitting on two, so that's three shots. Wounding on fours, re-rolling. No, no, just wounding on fours. That's at least maybe two go, two are hit, two wounds. And then how many um, actually go through is maybe one d6 damage. The odds weren't yeah. looking good. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. So, but and then even so, like even if he was going to dedicate a lot of shooting to taking out one of them, he should have shot one of on one side or the other. That's turn four. I'm bottom of turn four. Yeah, this that's is your turn. I, that's this is your turn. Oh, this I'm is not taking turn. your turn. Sorry, I'm, I'm just swinging. I'm just yes. Swinging. So I'm just swinging. The, 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 I got six guys up there. Yes. I'm saying I, I don't get another turn because yes. we, can't, we can't finish. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Assaults are weird, man. We're town not used to it. <laughs> Big part of the game. Uh, I don't kill a three for this player. All right, so what is this? This is bottom of four. Bottom of four. All right, so the, the turn wasn't updated, but I, I'm figuring it's just because we're getting close to the end. So turn four went really fast, right? It's correct. Like they're they're splitting, splitting splitting time right now because there's only 15 minutes left in the round. Although I, I do see the demon prince is gone. Yes. Or it might be hidden. No. Nope. You killed more. You I hold got all more. the headhunter, and I got my last recon. And you get bonus, right? Yep. Yep. And fine. So you got all four old school. Yep. Right. Uh, I got no reaper. I got. I killed your warlord. Killed yep. something in the last turn. Yep. Um, and you got uh, three big game hunters. Well, uh, doesn't your warlord also count as a big game hunter? Uh, he has eight wounds. Uh, look it up. Yeah. I'm thinking that, that he would have counted as head hunter, not big game hunter. Uh, seven or more. Seven or more wounds. Yeah. Okay, he counts. So you got four. All right. All right. So turn uh, three, I don't have, I didn't get uh, kill more than you, and I didn't hold more than you. Uh, turn two, I held more, uh, and I killed only one, but I got the bonus that turn. And turn uh, one, I, I held more, and I killed one. That's what I have. Is that accurate to you? Uh, it's pretty let's, 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 let's look. That's what I have. Sounds like they're uh, adding up the scores, and we will give you the final uh, score more, yeah, here shortly. And then I do want to let you know that where we have coverage of the final round at about 1.15 Central, which is uh, 6 uh, or 1.15 Central. I know there was a question. And I got four big game hunter. Yep. And I got three old school. Yes, you did, because you killed the world. Yeah. There you go. About times. I'm sorry. Terrible host. Anyway, but one Central. So that's like Chicago time, Dallas time, or 115, excuse me. 20, I got you at 27. 27? Because you did not get recon one turn. You're right, I didn't, you're right. 
Okay, 27 is good. I'll take it. So 15, 27? Yep. All right. Good games, man. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I had to be real sneaky. I couldn't fall into your tow trap of throwing your crew out there first. <laughs> it was going right. to be so cool to be a Final score, 20, 27 with uh, the death guard and 15 with the tow. It was a... Uh, it was kind of a slow game, unfortunately. Kind of. Definitely a slow game. Kind of. It was definitely a slow game. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was just, I think, we were hoping to see more Tau firepower you know, against a resilient army, but I don't think that ha showed up until ter turn two, really. Yeah. Both these guys were 3-0 going into this, correct? Yeah. So uh, two three and zero players. Uh, we were hoping for some fireworks. We kind of got like the little light up snakes that just grow on the sidewalk instead. Uh, not even bottle rockets. <laughs> so anyway, join us uh, later this afternoon for um, uh, Justin Lois, Lois, and uh, the next name. game will be the top for the event. So whoever is playing for the champs on it, more than likely Justin Lewis and whoever his opponent is. Josh Stewart. Josh Stewart. My boy Josh, my former space fool, playing brother from another mother, the Volko Fenrique. Yeah. <laughs> playing Necrons. We're all so dirty. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, dice safely. Yep.